That's how you, that's how you get him an arc. You knock him out, and you feed him meat. <laughs> <laughs> you feed him enough meat till he wake up, and now he's yours. Hey, yo. What? Especially if you got prime meat. Prime meat makes him love you more. Oh, my gosh. This is hella A. My, my arc heads, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Would you like to introduce the podcast? Nah, I'm not good at that. Dang, you got to practice, but you know what? All right, let me try, right? Okay. And if it's bad, yeah, you're not going to edit it out. But <laughs> I'll edit it out if you tell me to. Okay, I'm going to try like Darius. He goes, <laughs> do not yell into the mic. Not you bad. don't have to yell into he the mic. He goes, mic. yo, 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 we're, welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode 142, 143, and I'm back with my host, uh, DW, <laughs> aka the president, aka the mayor, aka Kim Jong Un. Wow. And that's not just because he's Asian. Um, and we're on another special episode of No Regulars. That I've repeated myself now, right? <laughs> that started off good, though, right? You forgot my name and didn't say your name. Oh, yeah, I'm Corey. Yeah, I'm Corey. I'm the host, Corey. And I'm here with my other host, uh, D D W A K the president. AK. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the episode of Rings Podcast, episode number one hundred forty three. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, comment, post notifications, all that good stuff. We are bringing to you new content every week. Subscribe to our Patreon if you want more content where we don't say and hold back on the jokes and the messed up things, and we talk about real life things that may be real and not real. And we also talk about I don't know, but Corey's on there, UJ's on the Tyrone. They have their own episodes. They have their own podcast on there. So if you're tired of seeing me, subscribe <laughs> to the Patreon. You'll got three dollar tiers, five dollar tiers, and ten dollar tiers. That's funny. That's what it turned into. Just our own podcast on there. No <laughs> one else wants to do it. Hey, bro. F it, bro. Might as well. But we got a lot of stuff to discuss, Corey. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. What I haven't. I didn't read your notes. It's okay. Oh, well, you, we need that for it. We'll get that eventually. Yeah. But I want to first start off because I was watching something on TikTok today, brother. Mm -hmm. And you know how they be having those podcasts where they'd be like one guy and then like five girl, five or ten girls. The um, Not Fresh and Fit. I'm about to say Fresh and Fit. Not that one. It's the it's a other one where it's like a, you've definitely seen it before. You've probably seen it. I probably just thought it was Fresh and Fit. You know? Yeah. That's it's like cool. a, it's like a white room. There's like a white guy. So there was a guy on there on TikTok. He was, his name's like Bevo or whatever. Bevo? Yeah, he's that guy. I don't know if you've seen it on TikTok. It was a guy. He like eats everything in one bite. Like he'll eat it and then like swallow it. Big Groove? No, not Big Groove. That's the oh. big bite dude. No, I'm talking about like he'll put like a something in his mouth. He won't chew it and he just swallow it whole. And he nah. got, this is what I'm talking about. People get famous off of weird things, bro. Nah, I never see that. One. So he, so I guess he went on there, and he was saying like somebody was on a live live stream, or whatever. And I guess he was saying that him and his girl are in an open relationship. Uh huh. And oh, he was sneak over. Yeah, but yeah, basically. And he was saying like, but he was, they was doing it for like OnlyFans and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the guy was pressing about it. So he was like, so you know you're like a like a cuck, right? And he was like, he's like, I mean, if I am, I am. Pretty he's much. like, so you're okay with that? Like, you're okay with other men sleeping with your woman for money? He was like, well, if it makes me money. And like, he kept pressing him and he was getting mad. And then that's when he said, do you have a job? The, the British guy, he's like, you have a job? He's like, yeah, I have a job. He said, so you're a slave because you have a job and I'm financially free even though I let my girl have sex with as many people as I want. So I was looking at that, and he was basically saying everybody with a 9 to 5 is a slave. And then after yeah. that whole podcast happened, he started... He I was 2 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got a 9 to 5. You think that's worse? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad? It's ass, bro. I would think it's good because you don't work. You don't wake up early. I just, it's only good for me because I don't like waking up early, but like, like my whole day is like... Oh, gone? gone? Yeah. <laughs> and you were... Okay, is that one job or two? That's one job. Oh, so that's one. Yeah, if I go to both jobs, I go in the morning. So I'm like from eight to ten, basically. Oh my gosh! So you are, so you're a slave of what he's saying. I mean, I guess, like, but like my bitch not getting fucked, but like, so. <laughs> I just don't understand. I'll be a slave, but feel me, bro. I just don't understand. He's borderline liking men. Nah, that's what I'm saying, and I like I don't understand why. Like, I feel like social media these days and like these new technologies starting to like bring out the weirdness in people. Because I don't think that was a thing back then. I feel like there... And, like, he was going off. Like, he was going in on people. And, like, at the end, like, he, he made a video, like, afterwards saying, like, yo, like, the podcast made me say all that stuff to, like, get clicks and views. Oh, so that's not his real opinions and shit? I, I don't know. But, like, he was really fighting for it. Like, the way... Like, you know when you... You know when you get disrespected and then you start, like, saying outlandish stuff because mm -hmm. you know... Like, that's how he was doing. And I'm just, like... 
he might be he might have been faking it, but it just seems like he was too mad for it to be fake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like he they didn't pay him. He they paid him like a hundred fifty dollars. Like I'm not going. I would never go on a podcast to be like, yeah, I, I'm in an open relationship. I let people have sex with my girlfriend. That's crazy. Like that's actually insane, bro. I would never. So like, come on, bro. People. I mean, I guess like some people like do it for the clout, bro. You feel me? I like, what know, do you what do you think with people? What do you think about people in open relationships, bro? I mean, I think it's weird. I think it's very weird. But you know, I'm nobody to judge. Like, who am I <laughs> to be like, yeah, you're weird because. <laughs> You let your homeboy fuck your girl, but like, like, what if she's bringing in like mad bread? I mean, I just like I have more pride and respect yes. in, in myself as a man to not let that happen. Like, I'll just be like, nah, like I, I'll stay broke, bro. I'd, I'd rather <laughs> be broke and live a normal life than be a millionaire and just have think about, like, oh yeah, like think about like yeah, my my wife's out there having sex with like four dudes right now for a yeah. hundred million for a hundred thousand dollars. But I'm up. Nah. But I'm up. Nah, I, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm, with cool that, bro. I'm cool. I'd rather just stay broke. I'm cool. I'm cool with my life now. <laughs> and then I seen another thing on TikTok. There was like a. It was like a. They're like a younger couple, but like she does like OnlyFans, but she posted like that stuff on Twitter. Uh huh. And I guess she be like people be bashing because she has a boyfriend and she don't do it with her boyfriend. She does it with other dudes. Oh, that's OD. That's OD. That's OD. That's what I'm saying. I she thought she was like posting like solo content. I'm not gonna. Lie. I wouldn't care if I have a shorty. And with the solos? If she posts a solo content, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> like you go, you go, you go Google ten pussies and they all look the same, bro. <laughs> no. Google ten titties, they all look the same, bro. Like I really wouldn't care. But now if you getting you getting rammed on, yes, by bro. other niggas, yes. And nah, we not doing that. And bro. like they, she like there was like they was commenting under, and they was like, yo, I, like if it was your boyfriend, I don't know why he with you, this, that, and the third. And they'll make a video, and he'll be standing right behind, and he's like, she's like, see, look, he don't really care. I do this stuff because I'm making money, don't you, right, babe? And he's just like, yeah. If like if you making money, why you can't do it with me? That's what I'm saying. That's mad weird. Like they was saying, like he's like, it's not weird because it's like. Like, you know, we just, I, I have one of my friends, like, we'll do business, this, that, third, and then afterwards, we just. Only way if it's acceptable, if you cuffed her, knowing what, her, what she did, what she does. Mm, so, like I that, said. That's your fault. Yeah, if you cuff a porn, like I said, if you cuff a porn star. Yeah. If you go into it knowing, I'm about to wife this porn star. I'm mm-hmm. about to wife this OnlyFans model, and she's getting rammed. Yeah. And you're going in there accepting that that's her profession, and you're, you respect it. Mm-hmm. Then it's okay. Like, I right, like. I still judge you. You're weird. Yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah. better. You're better man than me. But, but if you know, I, it, that's the only way I'll be like, ah, ah. Right, you knew what you you knew what she was getting yourself into. Mm. But if you like settled for that and subjected yourself to that, like, right, uh, this is what I'm gonna settle with because I love her and just mm-hmm. what she wants to do. Yeah, bro. I don't know. That's crazy. Like, imagine like he found out it's about a matter, it. It's a matter of time until you start getting bent over. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> before she starts being like, yo, we could do, like do this. And they'll pay you like a hundred thousand dollars. You probably do it too. No, not me. No, no, no. Say, not you. You say you probably know. No, I said you. No, no, I said him. He would probably do that. No, that's insane. Cause like it's like, at the end of the day, bro, there's morals, and I feel like we lost a lot of our morals as human beings. I, it's getting bad. It is getting bad. Like it's even, getting bad. Like I be like I be watching on like the TikTok and see people like. The NP, NPC Spider Man. Yeah. Oh my He's losing gosh. his marbles. Yeah, yeah like, he's losing his <laughs> But like what's wrong like what's wrong with you, bro? Like <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, the, the things where they be sending him galaxies and he jumps up and down and he begin t- Not even when he be getting tight like to the people in the uh That's walking past them? Yeah, I, I swear to God nobody be talking to him, bro. Oh, like he's like, just I'll doing be, it. I'll beat your ass. No, <laughs> no, you're not talking to nobody, bro. Why are you sitting there acting like you're talking to people? Hey, maybe they should ban TikTok, bro. I think it's getting a chill, little chill, bit. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, not chill, yet, chill, not, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Let's make, let's be millionaires for it. Need the profit of it first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, bro. I just think we're just getting to like it, we are getting to a point where we're doing so like all the outlandish stuff that's going on in the normal world is becoming normal. I don't think it's becoming normal. I just think. More people are entertaining it. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not normal. It's entertaining. Because, like, people are blowing up for it. But if you meet 100 people. Yeah. 90 people are not on that, bro. Yeah, that's true. You that's know what true. I mean? 90, like, more majority of people are, are in disagreement that it's, it's getting out of pocket. It's just a select few people that are blowing up from it. It's like, okay, like, you know. Like, just imagine, like, every, like, let's say a 1,000 people is trying to be, like, the NPCs, bro. Like they do it outside, that would be so weird. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If I, 
so hard if I walk across it, I'm like kicking the camera, bro. Like, you get kicked yeah, the camera. Bro. I'm, not, I'm not about to watch you do this. Bro. They be in New York all the time, bro. Or I'm gonna like walk into your video and like clown you, like yo, you really like you really doing this, bro? Like, How much bread do you think they really get? Not enough. Not like, enough. It can't be enough for me to. The, but it might be because they keep not, doing bro. it. It's can't, like they it keep, can't be enough, bro. Like it got like, bro. You they people be making twenty to forty k on TikTok. Just by clipping stuff. So just imagine doing that little NPC stuff. I, don't, I mean, they probably are making bread, but like at what cost? Like, that's what I'm saying. The morals is gone. Like, I don't want to, like, feel me? I don't, like, if we blow up from this, that's cool. I'm being yeah. my, I'm being myself. Exactly. I don't want to blow up from being, not smell the roses. Smell the roses. <laughs> that's what now, I'm s- now I'm that smell the roses guy or glizzy. I don't want to be Yo, that. Yo, it'd be so max, bro. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be go up, blow up for that, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want, I'd rather be, I'd rather blow up for doing normal things because once, like, it's going to die down, but at least we can, like, carry off of it because we're still, we're not changing. Because mm-hmm. eventually that NPC stuff is going to die down. Yeah. And it's like, now what you do? Now you're, now you're really lost. Mm-hmm. And it's like, hey, man, I guess you came up a little bit, but I don't know, bro. A lot of these people, they starting to get, like, I, you know what it is also? It's being. It's a lot more easier to go viral and be famous nowadays than it ever was like back then. Yeah, I mean the internet's becoming bigger, so it's so it's, 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 it got, it's no choice to be easier. Like you know how many people get more exposure. Like think about it in two thousand nine. Yeah. Who was making like name name five five YouTubers from two thousand nine? I can't even. The only people I know is like. The Smosh people and then said PewDiePie, Chris yeah. Smooth, and uh, what's that? Like what? popping YouTubers, not just people doing YouTubers. And like it's YouTube. like they only did YouTube. Yeah, you only seen them on you. You didn't see them on no Facebook. Yeah, you didn't see them on Instagram. Wasn't even out at the time. Like that was it. It was just Facebook and YouTube. But it's like like people was like people like back then wasn't going on YouTube with the plan of I'm going to blow up and be famous. They're just doing it for They're fun. Doing it for fun, mm-hmm. and then it just so happened like, hold on, this is actually I could make a living off exactly. this. Exactly. That's when like back then, like when you like when you had to sign to like Machinima to have a gaming like to have mm-hmm. a gaming account, you had to get paid through Machinima. Yeah. You wasn't getting paid through YouTube. You had to sign with Machinima and those other gaming like uh, con- website? You, not web, well, whatever they are. Oh, like the str- the platforms. Yeah, you had yeah, to yeah. sign through those to get paid for gaming. Like mm. there wasn't like. I just put, open my laptop and post my own gaming. Oh, content. so you had to be accepted into that or something. Well, like that. you can do it, but you wasn't getting paid for it. Uh, like you had to be signed to like Machinima. Oh, I know what you like mean. Machinima I know what had you mean. to sign you, like personally. Oh, like yeah, you, like oh, like okay. I see his gaming. Oh, he's making COD videos. Let's sign him. Oh, so like you, it's like an audition, basically. Ba- I mean, like they just look at your video. Oh, we like him. He's good enough to to broadcast on our uh, on our platform. I Let's got sign you. him to Machinima, and we'll pay. We'll pay, you get paid through Machinima. Wow. Is this and is that, that the, still a thing? No, because YouTube. Oh yeah, YouTube. Now. Yeah, that's true. They didn't, Machinima itself didn't have talent. They 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 signed talent. It's like a record label, like uh like Phase or whatever. Not even because Phase is the, like joining Phase Clan is just like is, is for for recognition. Yeah, but there I, I doubt Phase is paying niggas. Nah, but they might be paying, bro. Even then, I could go. I could join Phase Clan. I'm still making money off my own YouTube mm-hmm. brand. Yeah, like Machinima is like a record label. Like, oh, I'm, okay. I'm paying you. I'm, I'm Def Jam Records. I'm gonna pay you this, that, and the third. This, that, and the third, and I'm only gonna give you like ten percent. Mm, that's crazy. And everything else I own. It's like it's, it's my like. Oh, really? So I they own, own that stuff. I own the right to your videos. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. I thought it was just like like your managers and no, stuff. No, bro. I'm like your record label, bro. I'm, oh, I'm, that's actually OD, bro. That's how Machinima was working. And then when YouTube started paying people directly, it was no 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 more need for Machinima because they got why am I going through you if they just gonna pay me right. Yeah, right here, and yeah. I get to have my content. Exactly. Oh, that's mm-hmm. actually crazy. Dang, bro. I wonder what. I wonder how it's gonna be in the future. Like, I never. I wonder, like, what's the what's gonna be the next big platform? Because I feel like TikTok is like, like, what can what more can you get from TikTok? Like, what I mean, what can, what more can you get after TikTok? Another TikTok. Oh, uh, like just like another type of platform mm-hmm. that's like that. Because like I never because TikTok is almost like it's like it's like Vine on think steroids. Think about it. Yeah, think about it. What was. When Vine disappeared, we didn't have a Vine for a long time until TikTok came along. Mm, so, oh, that's probably going to be crazy, bro. Dang. Let's see what's happening in the and future, I think they bro. said, who that, that dude from Chart Tank? He's on the buy TikTok. Really? That's, oh, so TikTok I, that's not going to go, heard. TikTok not going getting banned, bro? But he was never getting banned, bro. <laughs> Too much money involved. They were just scaring us, bro? You know, I, I always thought they was banning TikTok because there's so many people that are quitting their jobs just to do be social media I content I mean, that creators. might be a bit. It's, it's way too much money involved. I know you can. They TikTok. make stupid money, like stupid money, and they could, they could, they could even like even the they're politicians. 
No, that's the air conditioning. Oh. I, I thought that too. I thought it was like, but I thought the air, that AC was on. That's the central air was on. Oh. Scared the heck out of me. I was like, wait, no. Nah. But I don't know. I just think nowadays there's a lot of people that do a lot of dumb stuff for no reason. And I don't know whose fault. I mean, there's nobody's fault, but like, it might be our fault for like entertaining all that stuff. It is our fault. 100% but our fault. That's just how it is, bro. But I'm glad I got, I got a segment we could talk about. I got hot takes. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you brought any. Nah, I couldn't. Like you told me, I couldn't think. Of okay, that's all good, bro. Cause I got a bunch. So, I got a, random, a bunch of random hot takes that I've seen and then I thought of. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna go basically like agree or disagree. On three, we're gonna say agree or disagree, and then we're gonna talk about it. Okay. All right. So the See, first I'm one. Already going down. <laughs> so the first one, tipping, is should not be needed. Like you do not. I tip don't think t- tipping should be required. So, because a lot of restaurants are required, you're required to tip. Right. Okay, but like, say if there's like a, like some you get like served or whatever, like you go to like Applebee's and they'd be like they they you know you have to put a tip down. Mm-hmm. Should that be like the standard? Like you should tip your people. Three, two, one. Yeah. D- ag- disagree. I agree. You agree? Why do you agree? Because I'm paying you for like. I don't think it should be required. If I don't want to tip, I feel like I should have the option to not tip your ass. Exactly. But this courtesy, though, I okay. think you should tip. Okay. Like, if it's a server. If I sat down and I served you, yeah. then, yeah, you could give me, like, like I don't How think- How much? Ten dollars max. Ten, ooh, ten dollars. Oh, ten dollars max. max. I think he's gonna say minimum. Max. Okay, because J- me and Jay. Always I know, to- like, I know that it goes by the bill. Like, if yeah. I, if I if I pay four hundred dollars in the restaurant. Oh, a five dollar tip is crazy. No, I'm just saying, like, the 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 tip is gonna be like sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like percentage wise. Mm-hmm. But if I don't want to give you fifty dollars, I shouldn't have to give. Like, you didn't cook this food. That's what I'm saying. Like, why well, we should all tip you the did, chef. All you did was bring it out to me. Exactly. Here's ten dollars on top of your wage. If that's the case, I know a lot of them don't make that much money. They get most of their, most of their money off commissions and stuff like that. Is it really though? I think so. Because I think I think right. I think like I looked up like IHOP uh, servers. Mm-hmm. They make fifteen an hour. Uh that's IHOP though. Like, go like to, what are we talking about? Go to like a, a restaurant, like I don't like know. like a like a family owned restaurant, or like I'm a, not sure. I don't I don't work, but I know like. What you call it? Uh, I knew somebody that worked in a restaurant, and she was really making like five dollars an hour. But off the commissions and tips, yeah, she was making bank off of that. Okay, now that's different. But I'm talking about places like these chain restaurants. Oh no, like a like a Chick Fil A. Like I'm not. Yeah, like a. I'll Chick-fil- never. I'll never tip at a Chick Fil A. Or like an Applebee's. I'm, I'm unless Applebee's. unless they're nice and they do like. Unless they do. Is, look, you give me except, exceptional service, yeah. I should, I, I'll give you a tip. Exactly. But I, I should not be required to tip. And I should not have to, like, if you're, like, like half-assing everything and just like, oh, what do you want? Is that the, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying, yeah. If, it, it's like, a, if I shouldn't be required. Exceptional service, you deserve a tip. If you don't exactly. give me exceptional service, I'm not tipping your ass. I But I shouldn't be that. required to tip you either. I agree with that. I agree with that. All right. The big cities in the U.S. are all overrated. Three... Mm. Two, one. I don't think that's a hot take. Agree. I disagree. I think I like the countryside more than the cities. You never like you live in Jersey, bro. I've been to the countryside though. You live in Jersey, bro. Jersey exactly. Basically, I'm you, tired of this you place. You basically live in the country, bro. You what do you mean live in, live in the country? This shit just like the country. No, it's bro. not, bro. This is metro, me, uh, metropolis or metropolitan. I said metropolis. Yeah, when you leave Union, is this? But like when you come back home to Union, you going you coming back to the country. No, bro. no, no. But like this, I'm talking about like open land. It's not like too nah, many people I like around. The city. Really, I don't like the city. I feel I like, like it's I just like too much. I, too much. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like it's just too much. Like things going around. Too many people. Too many like attitudes. I feel like just it's so peaceful. I, in the I, country, I, I, I love that about it though. It's just like really? you never know. So it's, it's a different. It's so different every day. See, the only good sassy. Hey, yo, pose. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like cat. Bro. I don't know. I feel like big Purr, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, he makes Jersey look so bad. So bad, bro. bro. I mean, like, whenever he talks, I'll be like, he be like, after all that, <laughs> that was it's like, you really did. I really <laughs> did, though. Like, no, bro. Like, this, oh my gosh, it's so bad. And then when he tries to change his voice, this is what movies is made of. <laughs> this is what movies is made of. Came back, don't worry about it. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> like, yesterday during the press conference after they won, the reporter asked, Cat a question, right? Yeah, and Ed Edwards answered it because, like, 
I guess he thought he was gonna say something stupid. And yeah. then like it, uh cat started talking and said the dumbest shit ever. Like, yeah, what you think about that? I was like, Oh my god, this dumbass nigga, bro. Like he's so Just shut ba- up, bro. He's so bad, bro. I'm like, come on, Just bro. Shut up and, and just play basketball. I be forgetting he's from New Jersey, bro. I don't. It disappoints me every time. Like <laughs> well, I can't be like Kyrie, just be cool, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like people always say Kyrie from Jersey. They, no, they they never say cat from Jersey, bro. Kyle like, Anderson, don't... cool, bro. Like, yeah, I know he cool. Uh, Nas, Nas Reed, cool. Reed, I'm not gonna lie, Nas Reed. He, 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 I heard him talk too. He talk, talk a little funny too. But I, I think he, <laughs> like he has a like a little like like nerdy voice. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect him to sound. Me like neither. That. Me neither. But yo, you know, ever since like he won six, I've been seeing like mad documentaries about because they said like he's not a talkative person and like he don't like like he's like a Loki like a nerd. But he was just good at basketball. That's what they were saying. That nigga's not no nerd, bro. I'm like, where y'all getting this stuff from, <laughs> bro? We used to play against that nigga, bro. Come on, bro. He ain't no nerd, bro. Hey man, that man used to fry us. I watched that nigga dunk on somebody that spit on him, bro. That ain't gonna have no fucking nerd, bro. Is it who I think it is? Against Mary's. Oh, oh. I thought it was I thought it was on your team. No, no. Who no, he no. spit on? Somebody in the crowd, bro. Oh my gosh. On the bench. He dunked on somebody, then like spit like, on spit on him. Yeah, spit on something on the bench, bro. That's O D. <laughs> that's O D. That was my our, our freshman year of college. I think I went recruiting with uh DA? Nah, who was Kev? That? Kev or Mike, one of the two. Oh, okay, okay. I, I might have been Kev. Mm. No, it was definitely Mikey. I only, I only went recording with Mike. And what you call it? No, it, it might have been Kev. I went recording with, with uh, Coach Kurt too before. I didn't Coach, rec- Why Coach I Kurt didn't... fried me. Like, he tried to fry me. Why? He was watching uh, St. Pat's versus somebody. Yeah. And he was like, like you think you could like play on this level? <laughs> oh yeah, I think you did. Tell and me I looked that. at him. I was like, "Nigga, I was just playing on this level last year, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Oh, I was just here last year playing, bro. Got oh, two man. rings. What are you talking about?" Kurt is he was like, a... yeah, "You can't play on this level. You can't play on this level." I was yeah. just like, "I hate Kurt, bro. bro. Kurt is such a bum, bro. <laughs> I'm not even talking to you anymore, bro. I love you, Kurt, but I hate you at the same time. There was times that kid used to piss me off, bro. He used to piss. No, he used to. He used to just be a no. Oh my god, there used to be days we'd be at camp. It'd be like me and Jim, and then he'd be like. He's like, Darius, so what are you going to do with your life? And I'm just like, I mean, I'm going back to school. He's like, ah, school. And he's like, Chim, what are you doing? And then he's like, he's like, look, watch this. Tyrone, come over here. This is a real answer. Tyrone, what you doing with your life? I'm like, are you good? I'm like, this is like 7 o'clock in the morning. Like, You're proud. Okay, like, go ahead, proud man. <laughs> like, Tyrone, the same place as us. Look, he'd be sitting in the chair. But like, hey, bro, still love you, Kurt. But I got another one. So, MJ is not a top three athlete of all time. Three, two, one. Disagree. Agree. You're crazy. He is MJ is not a top three athlete of all time. Who's, athlete of all, in all sports. Who's better than him? Messi. He's not a better athlete. No. No, I'm talking. We're talking about like, like accomplishments, all that. No. We mean no. Messi won every single statistical category and award known to Michael, man in soccer. Michael Jordan is six and zero oh in the finals, bro. What does that mean? It's you know who's better than him? Wayne Gretzky's better than him. But no, no, bro, stop. No, nah, no, nah, you don't do your homework. Or, I know yo, it, bro, but like, do Wayne, your home- Wayne Gretzky is not more popular than Michael Jordan, bro. We're not talking about popularity, we're talking Wait, about better. No, bro, no. Wayne Gretzky was better than Michael Jordan in his sport. No, he was not. Bro, no, they said, not, bro. bro, they said it was equivalent to like if somebody in the NBA went to the WNBA and broke all the records. That's how bad he was beating them, bro. All right, but he's not the GOAT, bro. Bro, he won MVP nine times in a row and he just got into the league nine times I mean, or eight cool. or nine bro that's cool bro but he's not mj bro what you mean not mj bro keep going who else you got the name bro we're gonna say you want to say lebron no no you want to say lebron no he's not no no why not why not he's not better than LeBron's not better than mj bro why not because he uh Little scrub, nigga. <laughs> little, 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 little scrub hey bro lebron I, I can put tom brady up there tom brady is up there is mike is Mike, Tom Brady, and Messi? No, no, I don't know. Name Wayne Gretzky. Else. I don't care, bro. Wayne Gretzky, Messi, Tom Brady. No, bro. Then LeBron, then Michael Jordan. No, bro. Don't talk about MJ. <laughs> don't talk about my glorious king like that ever again. I thought you. I thought you like LeBron. Oh, he's no. cool, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. All right. I like LeBron, but I don't like all this like this MJ. I don't like. First of all, I don't like talking the goat. I don't like the, the goat discussion. I don't like it either. Cause, Cause I feel like it's like either way, like you can't you can't turn back time. Yeah, you can't like we don't know what will happen. If Michael Jordan went up to went against the Warriors. Or, no, I was gonna say Braun. Like oh yeah yeah that that'll solidify the Braun, not the fucking Warriors. No oh yeah yeah I thought you meant like because like LeBron went up against all but these people. Also, if you do 
instead of doing at, like career, because mm-hmm. obviously LeBron had the better career. He's played longer. He's yeah. more durable. He's like his career path was meant to break records. If yeah. you do averages though, MJ played what 14, 15 seasons. Yeah, probably less. He averaged what thirty. I'm just saying his averages per season. Versus LeBron, like his his season, like his a- averages over it in accolades, bro, is better than Bronze, bro. I mean, if you want to say that, then Will is number is better than bro, everybody. If you want to count Will, that, Will's not real, bro. <laughs> he wasn't real. No, bro. They 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 started writing shit, bro. Like Will, was just Will didn't really play, bro. I'm telling you, bro. <sighs> I want to see, bro. There has to there's be no fo- footage, bro. There gotta be something. I mean, there's something of him like shooting a skyhook or something. I don't know, but like. This guy's like a he, freaking but, superhuman. Most, most of his best numbers is when the cameras is off, bro. And they that had, is true. They had camera. They had camera. They was recording games back then. Hey man, do your homework on Wilt, bro. Wilt wasn't real, bro. We're saying that right now. All right. Speaking on LeBron again, they tanked LeBron's career because they didn't want him to pass MJ. Three, two, one. Disagree. disagree. I disagree with that. I don't think so. They want him to pass MJ so bad. No, because they. I was saying that because of. They was talking. Look, they was looking at the MVPs, and they should have. You're weird. I'm getting that on camera. <laughs> what number? That 26 minutes. What was that? I don't know, bro. I seen something. So, I, so you licked it? I didn't lick it. I just made a face. He said something. I made a face. Like, ew, what is that? This guy's weird. Because I was looking. They was looking at because they think LeBron should have had like two more MVPs in the Defensive Player of the Year. You could say that about MJ. You could say that about Kobe. You could say that about Mad People. I know, but you could say that about Shaq. You could like literally you say that about anybody. Mm-hmm. Tim Duncan don't have a deep boy. Does he? He really? Oh, he doesn't. Who was winning in them years? I don't even know. That's KG, a good. Oh yeah. KG won it. Uh, Rudy Gobert being a different. Ass, bro. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. I uh, give it like watch him play on offense, bro. I know he's a cone on defense, but like offensively, he can't. I might be better than him. Offensively. It looked like he don't know how to make a layup. He's just tall. He's, like I'm like yo, bro. Like you didn't try to aim that to the. That's basket. what I'm saying. He just throws it up there, and it, just, it misses so bad. <laughs> like Luke could be mad when he Luke was guarding him, and somebody help. He like, why'd you help me? Bro? <laughs> He's gonna miss. <laughs> it's oh my gosh, bro. Like I never see. They, this, they said this is the first time a defensive player was like ever a liability on defense. Yeah, defensive player. They, they have to sub him out, bro. That's so bad. Cause he's Cook City, bro. Give me, give me that switch on Rudy Gobert, bro. That's so bad, bro. I want the switch on Rudy Gobert, bro. A- Anthony Davis should have won defensive player of the year. I agree. Come on, man. That's, that's a nice that's a hot take right there. I agree. Anthony Davis should have won, bro. He played all them games too. This is the first time he played 70 plus and he games. Guards, and he guards 2 to 2 to 5. Bro. 2 to 5 with like you normally five bro. By ones, though. Yeah, I cuz I I let him I let him slide with that. But 2 to 5s he got it though. Yeah, he be guarding 2 to 5s, bro. Like they be like he, if he's on the perimeter, he's not getting cooked. Like why does Rudy keep getting it? Is it the the plus minuses or something? I, I think like, every, what is it? Every year he's won it. He's been the best well, the anchor on the best defensive team. In but, the like, league. that's so dumb. Like, we're talking about players. You could, yeah. there should be a war for best defense yeah. in the league and then best off. Like, no, I player. agree. I don't think he, so. I don't, I, that man, Wemby had like four blocks a game 3.7. We round up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. I don't, I don't think he should. I think he's a certified squad. I don't think he should win it. But, like, hey man. I knew he was going to win it, though, just because, like, they wasn't going to give it to a rookie. That's true. AD should have got it. Yeah. I don't think Bam should have been the top. I should AD should have been top three. Yeah, they didn't. Bam, they just be they be on Bam too. Like Bam just low key just because he versatile enough. Like he could guard a little bit mm-hmm. more. Like he more a little, little more mobile than AD. But like still, AD been guarding and he averaged more blocks and steals. But hey, but that's another time for another day, bro. Different. Um, let's see. Italian food is very overrated. Three, two, one. I agree. agree. The only thing good about Italian food is pizza. Pasta, pasta? I like pasta. Pasta's alright, but I like, like pasta more than I like pizza. I can't eat like me for me, pasta, I feel like I get it makes me more full and I don't like that feeling like bloatedness. Mm. But like that's it. Pasta, pizza, what else? There's no, there's really nothing else. Yeah. And people be like, yo, I want to go to like this fine Italian restaurant. Like, no, like that. People like the like the fresh mozzarella. Yeah, like, like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not crazy over that. Like I'm that little burrata cheese where like you cut it and like falls all over. Yeah. It looks like like I don't like it's like all not, watery and stuff. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm not too crazy over. Maybe that. Italian sub is cool, but like nah, but like for like every day. That's what I'm saying. Like there's way better options. Like, like Mexican food is great. Oh. Boston. China, Asian food is great with no, the Japanese Chinese food, Chinese mm-hmm. food, Japanese food, American food, Korean food, Korean food, Caribbean like Italian, nah, Italian, is African not, food, African food, that fufu, bro, that jalafu, that's African, right? Jal- jalaf, jalaf, not jalafu, oh, jalaf. 
<laughs> Tell our fool is wild. <laughs> but yeah. Uh what else is what else is is busting, bro? Soul food was better than Italian food. That's what I'm saying. Bro. I don't think it's Italian food top ten. Like like you said, Caribbean, like Jamaican, Caribbean, Jamaican bro. food is busting. Like Italian Spanish food, food top tier, bro. Oh, that Mexican, Dominican, bro, Dominican food. That Mexican food with so the bust down. the rice with the tacos, the the burrito tacos and the quesadillas, Dario's. Oh, that's some good stuff. When's the last time you had Dario's? I can't even tell you. Dang, bro, it's, it's been, been that long. long. Yo, Dario's be busting, bro. I love Dario's, man. I'm, I still go now, bro. When I'm even when I'm out of school. Nice. All right. Dario's is OD. Um, ranch is an o- overrated condiment. Three, two, one. Agree. I disagree. I use ranch for everything. Really? I think ranch is very overrated. I think ketchup is overrated. Really? No. You can put ketchup. You can't put ranch on a burger. Yes, you can. No, that's not. Ew, that's nasty. I wouldn't do it. I, I, I'm not gonna eat my burgers dry. What? Just cheese. I just need cheese. That's just cheese? Need. My glizzies? Dry? Relish, maybe. Oh! Oh, my gosh. That's like, nasty. Like <laughs> You're gross. Relish and dry buns? Dry no, buns. nothing. Okay. Let's, let's go past that. But, like, what about with your fries? I mean, you could dip fries at ranch. ranch. Nah. Chicken I, tenders, ranch. No, I don't even like Hot wings, ranch. Okay, the hot wings. I Like, chicken tenders, I can't eat with, with ranch. French fries, I could eat with ranch, but like I choose not to. Chick- I rather Chick Fil A nuggets, ranch. No, nah, I rather the the, the Chick Fil A sauce. Chick Fil A sauce, Poly- Poly- Polynesian sauce. No, nah, not Polynesian. The sweet and spicy chili. I don't know that. That right. junk's busting, bro. Thai chili sauces is low key better than all of that, bro. The Thai chili, sweet, sweet, sweet and spicy chilies. Well, like you ever heard of Mambo sauce? Mamba sauce. Mamba, yeah. Yeah, they got it in a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, that junk is busting. Red sauce, bro. that shit. Okay. Yeah, that is so good, bro. Okay. I think and they made it in like. I think it's like a DC thing. I don't know what it is, but I know that one Chinese restaurant in New York. You know what I'm talking bro, about, bro. That junk is so they good, go so bro. Hard, bro. Like, but I just think ranch is so like, like, like. What's the best ranch? Who has the best ranch? Like what? Like what chain of restaurants? I just had some ranch yesterday from uh, oh, what's that? Wingstop. 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 See, that's what I'm saying. I don't really like Wingstop ranch that but much. I get honey the, mustard from the Wingstop. Ranch I like. From this bagel shop by my by my job, ranch be OD. Bro. See, that's what I'm saying. I like ranches from like maybe pizzerias, uh-huh. like not really chain stuff. Like the only one maybe is like Domino's Ranch is pretty good. What's that fucking store called? Oh my god, Hook and Real. Hook it. They got good ranch. Oh wait, actually, I never actually I never With had Hook Cajun and Real. wings with ranch. You get Cajun wings at a seafood place. Mm-hmm. Dang, bro, why don't you get the seafood? Nah, you don't like seafood. Get the Cajun wings, bro. Cajun wings mm-hmm. in the ranch. Fried though, don't get them baked. Oh, fried. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was my like prime time. Wait, cocoa. fried like they're fried chicken or yeah, they're like like they're battered. They're fried chicken, bro. Oh, that's some. That sounds bro, busted. During COVID, go to meal. Mm. It was cheap too, only eight dollars for how many wings? Ten. Like eight. Oh, that's clean. Mm-hmm. Fries included, or no fries? fries included, bro. Cajun fries, bro. They definitely went up. They had to go. Oh, up. definitely. Yeah. I'm about to say, there's no now. way. This is 2020, bro. That sounds busting. I'm gonna try it because me, me and Jay be trying to find a new uh, seafood place because one Cook of our real. It's busting. We went to one called Captain Louis in um. Go to City Fort Lee. Go to City one. Island. Like make a trip. Go to City Island. Where's that at? In New, New York? York. They got a lot of good seafood places. Yeah. Is that in um? Where's that? The Bronx? Nah, it's literally. I don't know what part. It literally called City Island. Bro. Really? I don't know what part I think of New York it is. I'm pretty sure it's just like city, like. City Island, bro. Like, that's all okay, I I might go over there see how the sea that seafood. It's like literally the whole the whole place, place is seafood. 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 It's like uh, like boils like with the bags and stuff. You can find and go anywhere, bro. Jay, we at the City Island. They got seafood. I heard they got good seafood. I think you just heard it, but I think they heard they got good seafood. <laughs> Corey just told me they had good <laughs> seafood, bro. Do you like seafood? <laughs> okay, it's actually crazy. I'm actually allergic to seafood, but like like, like shellfish. I, well, I used to be, but like I you guess pa- I, I used to just keep eating it, so I just you built up immunity yeah. to it. Oh, you're tough, bro. You like adapted. Yeah, because I used to like break out and stuff when I used to. Like eat. hives. Yeah. Oh, like was it like shellfish? I guess I'm guessing. No shrimp, anything. Shrimp, oh wow. Crab legs. That kind of sucks. Dang. My no. throat, my throat used to clog by this. Oh my gosh, he just powered through that it. Shit was good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're crazy, bro. Shit was good. Man could have freaking died. All right, I got one last one. You go man for bun. So Luca and Jokic, if they were to retire right now, will go into the basketball Hall of Fame. Three, two, one. Agree. I agree. I agree with that, bro. First of all, it's the Basketball Hall of Fame. Basketball Hall of Fame. I've, I've been said this before Luka got, like, the two other... I said this two years ago. You said Jokic. 
No, no, I said you I said, said Luca. Two MVPs. You said no, no, no. Oh. The the two All NBA. Oh. The, because I said it two years ago oh. when he had three All NBA. It's a basketball Hall of Fame. He's gonna get credit for his Euro work. He's gonna make it, bro. He's going for the Euro League. He is. He's five time first team All NBA. Mm-hmm. He's not even twenty six. And then he won a championship. Oh, he's not even twenty five. And then he won a championship. He won a championship and the youngest to win MVP over there, right? Over there at seventeen, yeah. eighteen, bro. Nah, he's over there. And Jokic, Jokic won, already three MVPs, in there. three MVPs, one, one ring. He's 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 certified, bro. Yeah, it's over. The the Europeans, bro, they're really taking over the league. I feel like nowadays it's like I feel like in a couple of years it's gonna be like the top ten players in the NBA are gonna be not from America. Nah, I don't agree. Just think about it now. I say fifteen. I don't agree. You don't think so? You know why, bro? Because I feel like nowadays these kids they're not taking nothing serious no more. Like you ever seen the the AAU tournaments now? Yeah, I hate, bro. I hate. Watching, Come on, bro. I hate watching basketball now, bro. Like that's what I'm saying, like, bro. Like little, like chill, like I can't watch it. Like bro. think about, like you be seeing like all these influencers that's creating like these AAU turn mm-hmm. AAU teams, bro. They're not even playing for like to be good. They're just playing for clips, bro. Yeah. And they're trying to make it look cool, like bro. You're doing this. All the 15, 16 year olds in the Europe are playing against grown men. But think about it though. At the same time, there's also other people. Like those are for clicks, but how often do those people make it? Julian Newman's of the world now, but they're starting to get like the bigger people in there. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Like, they're, it's not as big. Like NBA don't like that though. That's what I'm saying. They don't like it. But like, they they don't know that right now. They just doing it for because they want to look cool, Some, bro. They want they want to know eventually. It's, they, it's I'm telling you, it's gonna bite them in the butt, bro. A lot of those players like they don't take it. Like, oh my, it pisses me off. I watch it all the time. I'm like, yo, y'all don't know. Like, they're just using y'all for the content. Like, of course, mm-hmm. you guys are already ranked or whatever. That's fine. But, like, some of y'all, there's a lot. But, like, it's not even, like, with them, right? It's with the younger kids now. Yeah. Because say, right? Say there's going to be a younger kid that's, like, really good, but he wants to do what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Now he's not going to really try too hard, and that's going to mess up his progression mm-hmm. over time. And that's – let's see who's fault. I mean, it's not – at the end of the day, it's content. But, like, now – I feel like generation, like in the next couple of generations, we're gonna look at it as like this is not what like this thing messed up everything. I feel but, like, it, but I but once they get to a higher level, so right now it's nasty to look at. Yeah, yeah. College is not flying. Yeah, but like I, that's what I'm saying. Like, will they NBA be able? is not flying. Will they be able to survive with that's, that? Somebody like they're saying there will be a, there will be a, a generation of hoopers that are bred the right way that's mm-hmm. going to survive that yeah and those people that's not going to survive they're going to be flushed out the mikey's of the world mm. the dior's of the world the dude that with drake mom was dating the other worlds where oh, are they at amari was amari yeah, Bailey where are they at nothing bro. flushed out but there's talent yeah there's still people mm. come out every year you feel me i get you like it's just so annoying but like i seen like you know that one that bald dude on TikTok, like he played hoops. He got the he got yeah, the, yeah. He yeah, I know. I hate him, bro. bro. I think his name is Michi or something. Yes, like that, right? bro. Like, but he's saying like, look at that. Look how they fade out though. He was wasn't he go head? He was gonna head to have to Melo. Melo, Melo, yeah. Look where Melo's at. Look where he's at. Yeah, bro. Now like, he's living. Off, I mean, I do the same thing, but I'm, now he's living off his stories. Like, yeah, I used to hoop against Lamelo. Yeah, he's actually. I used to I, kill Lamelo. I see. I, I used. To, I, I guess what I love Nick Richards on zero points. Guess where he's at. Guess where I'm at. It makes sense, Shit bro. Don't matter, bro. Like I heard, he freaking. Oh, my fault. Don't don't hit the thing because this thing uh it shakes the camera. My fault. <laughs> now, nah, but freaking, I seen because I I seen him say like he's making his own AU team too. It's called like mm-hmm. Bald Head Elite. I'm like, this is so cringe, bro. Yeah. But I'm like, hey, people, man. People move with the cringe. Uh, do you do what you gotta do, bro. I ain't judging you. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. But hey, I don't judge do what you, you do. but do you, bro? Do you, brother? But. I got a I got a game we can play, Core. Okay. This is this is what your that uh list is for. Mm-hmm. So I have guessed the top ten greatest high school mixtapes of all time in the right order. Oh, right order? So I gave you all of the answers, uh-huh. but you just gotta put them in order. Starting you can start from do you wanna start from one or do you wanna start from ten? I wanna start from ten. You can start from ten and mm-hmm. you gotta get at least five right. Okay. All right? So you can go look at the list and go. So people, let me go Ben for Ben. Let me tell you go who we got on the ben. list. Who's on the list? So we got OJ Mayo, Ben Simmons, Derek Rose, Marcus Levette, Austin Rivers, Brandon Jennings, Andrew Wiggins, Seventh Woods, Akil Carr, and John Wall. So you're starting at number ten. Who you think was has the ten the top ten greatest high school mixtape? I know Andrew Wiggins went stupid. I know Austin Rivers went stupid. I feel like Derrick Rose is at the bottom. You think so? I'm gonna go. Yeah. I, oh, I'll let you. I'll I'll give you if you want to ask for hints. Uh huh. 
You can ask for hints. Can I read? Can I, can I do? Can I do best first now? Because I think you want to do the best. Nah, let's start. Let's start. Let's start where we at. Cause I think I think it'll be easier to do start in the beginning. Like who's number one? Okay, yeah, let's do that thing. I, I I have a feeling who's like top. So number one, it might be also Rivers number one. No, right? He's like number two, probably. I'll, I'll just just go with your list. Okay. But you can ask me questions on who is number one. Is number one a guard? Yes. Does number one make it to the NBA? Yes. It's got to be Austin Rivers. Is he currently in the NBA? No. <laughs> yeah, number one's Austin. No, yeah, damn. Could be any of these niggas. I'm gonna go number one, Austin Rivers. Okay. Um, number two, is it also a guard? Yes. Did he ever make it to the NBA? No. Is he under six feet? Yes. Number two, kill car. Or it could be Marcus. Number three, is he a guard? Did you so two you put you a, a kill car for two? You keeping it? Yeah, I'm keeping it. kill okay. car for number two. Okay. So you're at three. Three. Mm-hmm. Is he a guard? Yes. Did he make it to NBA? No. Was he a? Is he under six two? Yes. Marcus Lovett. Okay. Number four, is he a guard? Yes. Did he make it to the NBA? Are the you, question. You're going to keep spamming that question? <laughs> yeah. Yes. He made it to the NBA? Yes. Is he currently in the NBA? No. John Wall. Okay. I'm five, right? Yep. Uh, <laughs> is he a forward? <laughs> yes. Is he, he's a forward. Did he make it to the NBA? Yes. He did make it to the NBA. Uh, Andrew Wiggins. Did he go to Huntington Prep? <laughs> <laughs> You're at six. Uh, the rest of these are kind of low-key. It's only two. <laughs> that's not guards. And then at the end, I'll, let, I'll give you one chance to, like, you know. F- fix it? Yeah, fix it. I'll get, tell you how many you got wrong. What you got right? All right. Did this person have bounce? Yes. Did he make it to the NBA? Yes. Yes. Derek Rose. Okay. Did this person Did this person win an all rookie team? Yes. Ben Simmons. You laugh because it's wrong. <laughs> hey, I don't know. My, that might be Derrick Rose. <laughs> That's why you laughing. It's Derrick Rose. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, I locked it in already. I mean, I'm forgetting you... a name. It's Brandon Jennings. For which one? For what number? For seven, or whatever the last one I just put. It's, it's, All right. It's you're Brandon at, Jennings. You're at eight right now. Is did he make it to the NBA? No. Seventh Woods. Okay. Did he make it to the NBA? Yes. Is he a guard? No. No. OJ Mayo. Oh, OJ Mayo's a guard. <laughs> Where did I mess up? I think you have two people left. <laughs> I know. I have o- I have OJ Mayo and Brandon Jen. No. You said ben- and Ben Simmons. And Ben Simmons. So technically Ben Simmons is a guard though. I mean Ben Simmons, not nice as Ben Simmons. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. And our last one by default is Brandon Jennings. No, OJ Mayo. Okay, let's see. I mean you got right. You got four right. You got four right. Four right. You got two, five, nine, and ten correct. Two, five, nine, nine and, ten. and ten. So you got a kill car. Andrew Wiggins, Ben Simmons, and OJ Mayo, correct. So you still have one, three, four, 
six, seven, and eight. So, would you like to ask questions from the top again? Yeah. So number one, you yeah. said he was in the NBA. Yes. And you said he's currently not in the NBA. Yes. Number one is John Wall. Now you have three. Three. Who did I have originally at three? You said, I think this is when you said John Wall. Actually, I wasn't writing it down. Oh. And number one, he's a guard. He's in the NBA. He's not in the NBA no more, too, right? Yeah. This is Austin Rivers. Which one? What number? Three. No, no. He was never in the NBA. He was never in the NBA. Yeah. So I think that's probably Marcus LeVette. Because I put a kill car. At two. Yeah. That was right. Oh, so who I put at three? I think you put John Wall at three. And Austin Rivers was one. So, but number three didn't make it to the NBA. Yeah, he didn't make it to the NBA. That's Marcus LeVette. It got to be. Okay. And four I got right? No, you got that wrong. And four is a guard in the NBA? Yep. No longer in the NBA? Yep. Austin Rivers. Okay. And then you have six, and, six seven, and eight. Six is a guard in the yep. NBA. Derrick Rose. Wait, he's not in the NBA no more. He's not in the NBA no more. Brandon yeah. Jennings. Six got to be Brandon Jennings. Okay. Seven I got wrong too, right? Yeah. That got to be Derrick Rose. Let me check. Okay. And who else I got wrong? Eight? Yeah. And OJ Mayo is right, right? Yeah. And Ben Simmons is right? I think you're, I guess, I think you're mixing Seventh Woods. So seven was a seven. Or eight. Or eight. All right. So you got six. I got six. So let me tell you let me tell you the the real one or you want to just keep going. Tell me what I got right. And I depending on what I got right, I think I'm gonna change it. So number one, John Wall. Two, Akil Carr. Five, Andrew Wiggins. Seven, Derek Rose. Nine, Ben Simmons. Ten, OJ Mayo. Damn, so Austin Rivers is low. I thought Austin Rivers would for sure be top five. You're missing three, four, six, and eight. I thought for sure Austin Rivers would be top five. Nope. So, is six a guard? Yes. I'm, I'm missing six, right? You're missing three, four, six, and eight. Six is a guard? Yep. NBA? Yep. No longer in NBA? No longer in NBA. Six is Austin Rivers. Okay. And who else am I saying? Some three, three and four. So three is a guard that was not that's not, that never made it to the NBA. Yep. Who the fuck is a guard? It gotta be Marcus Levette. You said Marcus Levette last time. I know, but who was another guard on here that didn't make it to Seventh Wood? Seventh Woods is three. I'm thinking Seventh Woods a forward. Nope. <laughs> now you're missing four and eight. Uh, also, I put Austin Rivers. You already got Austin Rivers. That's six, right? You just have Brandon Jennings and Marcus Levette. Brandon Jennings, nine. Marcus Levette, four. It was the other way around. Marcus Levette, four, uh, eight. eight and, and Brandon Jennings, four. Okay. So it was John Wall, kill, John Wall at one, a kill card, two. Sevens Woods, three. Brandon five, Jennings, seven. four. Andrew Wiggins, five. Austin Rivers, six. Derek Rose seven, Marcus Levette eight, Ben Simmons nine, and OJ Mayo was ten, which makes a lot of sense. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it makes a lot. I of thought Austin Rivers would be higher. His high school miscape was crazy. Nah, but like seventh Woods, I watched that when I was like I mean, in I middle mean, school, and I, I thought I was so trash. I watched Seven Woods in middle school. So I, I was watched. Like, I watched Andrew Wiggins in middle school. Hundreds and prep. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Oh wait, yeah. We were we in middle school? Wait, no. When did he graduate? Four, he no, he graduated fourteen. 14 so so yeah, we was in we was in middle school. No, we weren't. We was in high school. He got drafted in fourteen. Oh, I thought he got. I thought he graduated high school at fourteen. No. He oh, got okay. Drafted yeah, yeah, yeah. in fourteen. Yep. Yeah, we was in eighth grade. So we yeah, eighth we, was in eighth, we was in eighth. We was in eighth. Or we was freshmen. So that mean his high school missed tape. We was in eighth because he remember he did a year at Kentucky uh, at Kansas. Yeah. So in high school he was in we was in middle school. Yep. Makes sense. Dang, bro, that's crazy. Work. I know the Crime Stopper. I watched it myself. Well, you seen it? Not in person. Like, oh, I watched oh. it like 
I, on, I watched every uh, Akil Carr mixtape. That's crazy. Marcus Levet, I watched him. You think you think you think if Akil Carr would have went to college, he would have like had a better career other than G League? Nah. You think he still would have been still, too little? Bro. But like, imagine that in like the the March Madness setting. I know but that like, could have worked out. He would have had to go to a home. Like he would have had to go to a, a right the right program. He could have went to like a Saint. Probably went to like Maryland or something. But he was from Maryland, right? Yeah, he went to Baltimore. Yeah, if he went to like Maryland or like, I'm trying to think of more like PG County teams. Mm. Georgetown. That's in DC. Yeah, that's in that. No, area. that's in Virginia. No, Georgetown's like Maryland, DC. I'm pretty sure Georgetown is in uh, Virginia? Virginia. Really? I always thought because I always everybody from the DMV they'd be going to freaking Georgetown all the time. Like ninety percent sure. Do your homework on that while I look at some of the questions we can talk about. Ooh, why am I in, why am I in incognito mode? This man was doing some freak nasty before the podcast, people. This is what he this is what he thinks of y'all people. Think about that. I don't think I was. This is how he treats y'all people. You know? I was actually I feel like I'm talking like late at night. Late at night with no regular podcast. Can we play two K tonight? Who? Can we play two K tonight? I'm not going to be here tonight, oh, you're, brother. You're ass. You're I'm right. I'm not going to be here It's tonight. in D.C. I told you. Georgetown was in D.C. Washington, D.C. Where are you going tonight? Uh, I'm going to Charlotte. You're going to Charlotte tonight? Yeah, we we driving to Charlotte. Who's we? Me, Chris, Jason, Ish. What's in Charlotte? Ja'Kai live in Charlotte. Oh, why are you talking like that? Because it's, <laughs> it's late at night, bro. Through the headphones, this sound great, bro. Late Wait, at night. Wait, talk about it. Talk like that, like like a late at night. Late at night. The, you you don't remember the, the talk show? You don't remember the talk shows? Like the late at night where they play the slow jams. Talk oh. shows late at night. We gonna be playing we gonna... playing Teddy Pendergrass featuring <laughs> Diana Ross. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> and we're gonna get slow and sweaty. Wow. While you're in the back seat, making love to your woman. Play that jam. Do 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 do. The slow jam. This this it sounds great in my headphones. I, I should talk like this the whole pod. I don't do that. You please. sure? Yeah, you're gonna lose subscribers. <laughs> Before we start, we have a paid subscription. We have a commercial, people. We'll be right back. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get we different than regular regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on, let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. Hey guys, we are back from No Regulars Podcast, and we're gonna start playing our natural voices again right after. This is so much. Work from our sponsor. This is so much fun, though. I'm having so much fun. I feel like Darius is trying to seduce me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, all right, bro. We back. And I'm high key loving it. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, it's getting weird. All right, I got a question. How many of these animal, animals would it take to kill you? Okay. All right. They're not saying no fucking lion. One. <laughs> <laughs> so first one is a pigeon. How many pigeons? They're not real, so they're not going to kill me. I think 100 p- pigeons is killing 100 you. 100 pigeons are not going to kill me because whoever is going to kill me in the, in the, in the drone is going to get arrested for killing me. Oh, so, so it's murder. Yeah. So a hundred pi- you can take on a hundred pigeons. Yes, bro, because they're not real. Once I once I kill the first pigeon, the government's gonna see that I'm onto them. I'm gonna open it up and they're gonna be like, hold on, he's breaking our cameras. Let's retreat. Okay. Your pigeons are too expensive to make. So they're not he's... gonna let me keep breaking their equipment. So yes, I'm I could take a hundred pigeons. Uh, limited pigeons, because once I break once I break one, 
They're like, yo, this is too expensive. They're all going to fly away. Yeah, yeah. This is too expensive. We're not going to keep fighting this dude. I like that. I like that. All right, now, otters. Hell no. How many? Have you seen an otter, like, yes. go to work? Yeah. Yes, I've seen them go to work and go to work. Sorry. I was too excited for that. You be watching otters, otters go, get to it? No, I don't personally watch it. Like, I don't honestly, like, look it up. But, like, but you talk, know. Talk to it, Darius. What you be it, looking up? It pops up. Pops up where? Like, you know, I seen an otter, like, with, it was like a raccoon. He was killing that raccoon. <laughs> you might have been killing the raccoon, but, like. Oh, you think he was ripping it up, too? Because you know what otters do. Yeah, they rape dead bodies. Yeah, but, nah, he was he was making sure he was dead. And oh, then, I can't say that word, right? Don't worry, I'll take it out. <sighs> so, uh, maybe two. Two or three. I'll say five. No, nah, you're bugging. I can get I can get five no, out of can't. there. No, you can't. I can get five out of there. I'm we, you, you cannot dare. How, how big are they? Well, it depends which one you're talking about. Some could be six feet. No, nah, not the six foot ones. Oh, okay, the other ones are four feet. Kick them little things. Yeah, nah, bro. I'm kicking them little things. They're not bro. mid. They're not little people. They're gonna bite you. They're gonna <laughs> hurt. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna go to the zoo. We're gonna ha- we're gonna do a no regulars vlog at the zoo, and then we're gonna look at each animal and think how many of those we can. Oh, they said we're gonna do it in the zoo. Jump in that culture. <laughs> yeah, you'll be there by yourself. <laughs> All right, hamsters. I feel like I could take a lot. I'm gonna just step on them. I know, but like a lot, a lot of something can re- like could really overwhelm you. I think like a good 500 is a lot. Yeah, I think 500. I'd say like. Because imagine them just biting at you and scratching you. I'll say 150 you. before they overpower me. Because mm. I'm looking like, well, those are one steps. Like, the yeah. ones you can just keep stomping, <laughs> you're good. Oh, I'm just feeling that under your feet must be you nasty. That's survive, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm just going to keep kicking. Imagine they keep crawling. Oh, my God, I don't like that. I think I think I got 150 in me. Yeah, I think I think 100. Low-key 100. I don't like that feeling, bro. I got 140. I got 132. Because they're going to start biting in bad areas. And, like, yeah, nah. It's 132. That's 132? My, that's my final answer. Okay, I like, I like that number. Um, non venomous spiders. I mean, you talk about me personally. Yeah, like, you personally. They got me already. One, like just one. <laughs> one got me. One, you just gonna. Ah. Yeah, I, 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 I lost. <laughs> like you go to croak. Like yeah. I no, lost. what? Ah, uh, uh, you got me, <laughs> bro. It's one spider. It don't even bite. It's just there. Yeah, it got me, bro. I'm giving it. I'll say two hundred. Two hundred. And then they go because they're gonna start calling on me. One might get in my eye. Now I can't see. They bite my retinas out. Yeah. Or you could also just like hawk smash a couple of them. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna get a, a good bunch of like maybe one smack. You get you could get at least forty spiders with one smack. But like some of them might be big though, because like non non venomous mm-hmm. aren't tarantulas like non venomous? No, they're venomous. Are they really? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. I they thought they bite were not. You'll be you'll be hurt. <laughs> oh dang! I thought they were non venomous. Nope, they're very venomous. All right, what's what's a big what's a big spider that? Uh, what's what's them spiders in um Australia? A wander, the one of them big wandering spiders. Yeah, or the the the, the trap door spider. You seen? You remember pretty that sure one? Pretty sure they're venomous too. Really? How about the How about the ones that eat birds? Pretty sure they're venomous too. Really? Oh yeah, my! I oh think my they God. have to be venomous. I, I don't know for sure. I'm pretty I sure they're they venomous. I thought they just eat them things. Okay, we learn something new every day. And the uh, the last one is penguins. <laughs> I can I can. Uh, Which penguins? Are we talking about an emperor penguin? They're kind of they're kind of big. Bro. Emperor penguin. They're kind of big, bro. Are they Ten. like five feet? But Ten. like, what they gonna do to you? Peck you? Peck you? But you can like kick them, bro. How many are you going to kick? I'm going to kick a good amount. I can kick like, like 30. They're big. Like you're fat? Not, you're not kicking 35-foot penguins, bro. But I can, I could pick one up and throw them at each other like bowling pins. Gonna, yeah, but so you pick up one. The other one's going to peck gonna me? It's going to be at least five that's going to get you. Ooh, I don't like that. I just felt that. Like, they was just surrounding me just going like yeah. this. Hey, yo, pause. Yeah, I, don't, I think I'm going to get 10. That's, that's rain, bro. Nah, that's rain, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you thought you was bucking? Yeah, I'm like, I oh, know I'm not tripping. I heard <laughs> rain. <laughs> so, yeah. Pe- so, pe- 10 penguins. 10 penguins. I'm going to give... All right. Now that you said that, I say 15. I'm going to go 15. I just want to... I'm going to one-up Corey. <laughs> I'm going to one-up Corey, bro. So, 15. Dang, imagine. What do you think is probably the worst, like, like most embarrassing death by animal? Probably when we was looking at the house cats, bro. Oh yeah. Why is house cat? Why is a house cat murking you, bro? That's what I'm saying. But like, they are type like dangerous though. Like if they really want to, like they can really go for your throat when you just sleep. Just fucking choke it, bro. Like imagine when you sleep, like a cat just bite your throat. And you should wake up and fucking toss it. Yeah, but like he still he still might get like in there, like. <laughs> you know, you should be you should be able to wake up, realize you got bit, and like toss it and break his neck. Mm. I think a, I think a turtle is kind of. What type of turtle? What if a snapping turtle? 
Nah. I'm gonna say like a, I like like a, they, they'll they'll fuck you up. Yeah. Okay. What about just a, a regular house turtle? Yeah, that's embarrassing. But like it's, it's like how'd you die? Like you slipped on it. Yeah. And <laughs> broke your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, or maybe like a tortoise. Like a tortoise bit you really hard and you got infected. Oh, they could just like step on you. Step on you, hump you. What? They hump? Yeah, they hump. How do you think they reproduce? That's a good question. How? First of all, they have sex. They do, right? <laughs> but they have a shell on. So how do they get right? That thing come out. <laughs> how long is that thing? Look it up. That shit. It ain't how little, you know? bro. How you know that? The same reason you know that otters get crazy. That's how I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it's like it's like horse. We talking almost, ho- and it's a weird shape too. It's like a it's like a like a triangle, not a triangle. It's like a, a square. It's it's weird, bro. It's a square. It's like a like a like a like a it's, like, a, it's, like, it's like a it's like a check mark or like an arrow. Like it, like it's like a hook. Yeah, it's like a, and then it's like a sh- it's it's kind of yeah, it's kind of massive, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, like, how long are we talking? I'll say, like, maybe two two feet. Two Off a of personal, like, I've only seen it on the <laughs> internet. Like, I've never seen it in person. They look pretty big on the internet, like, at least two, two three feet. Wow. No, nah, I might be gassing it. Comment section. I might be gassing it. But <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, my God. Off a of personal, I, I never researched it. I just personal looking. Reasons, yeah. Yeah, I just, like, oh, that's a big cock. It looks, <laughs> it looks pretty big. <laughs> I'm going to clip that. (laughs) Clip it with context. (laughs) No, I'm going to clip that. But because I don't think, how long do they live? Like bad long, right? Like 150? Yeah. Did you know alligators, like they don't, like they're basically immortal. Like alligators don't die, like they don't die of old age. What do you mean they don't die of old age? They don't die like of old age. They die like of like. Like, predators or sickness or something. So you tell me an alligator could be living. A crocodile. A croc- they could be yeah. living. They could have been living since. There can realistically, there can be an alligator that's been living since the dinosaurs. This, yeah, probably not. But like realistically, yeah. Okay, so like Cause they don't, they don't, they don't like die from old age. Like, mm, so like, so like the the alligators in captivity, right? Yeah. How do they die? Probably like I said, like that's probably stress or like. I don't know, bro. Like, like I wonder. Lie, I'm, I'm trying to. Th- I'm trying to think. <laughs> or bro. sickness, or like. Oh, they get sick. Or yeah, like they could get sick. Like, like Dang, they're that's... not. They're not. They're not uh, immune to disease and. Oh, oh okay. And stress. They just and, like, don't get old. They just yeah, don't get yeah, old. Like, they just don't like die of like die being of old. old. Yeah, they don't die of being old. Like, Let me they... actually see what's the oldest. What's the oldest croc a dial to live? Let's see how many years. Um. Can a crocodile live 200? Normally, they said 70 years. Well, that's what they say in here. 60 to 70 years is the maximum age, but like, that's probably like in captivity that they're guessing. That's also like in the wild, too. Like, yeah. That's gotta, what I'm saying. There's probably one hiding under they there. They got to fight. Like, you feel me? They got to. Oh, so they just die from. They got to they gotta deal with hierarchy, hierarchy. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Hierarchy. Like, yeah, like, feel me? They got to like survive. But like, if you just like one out, al- let's say it was one alligator living, mm-hmm. he didn't get sick. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to. Like, he didn't get hunted. Mm-hmm. He, nothing happened to him. He just had to live his life and eat. Yeah, he'll be ever, he'll be alive forever. Wow. Imagine. I wonder if there's like a there's this facility that's trying to do that, like trying to prove it. Like there there like there's one alligator that's getting the best treatment. Mm-hmm. They get he gets his own food. He gets checkups all the time. Make sure he's not sick and just just to make sure like to see how long he can live. I don't think they're doing that. You don't think so? They do weird things, bro. They do. I don't, you know they do weird things. I know somebody in the comments is like, "You're wrong." Blah 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 blah. No, just Google it, bro. Simple Google search will tell you. Do your homework, bro. Don't look at us. Just do your homework, bro. That's crazy, though. So they could have been walking around with the dinosaurs. I mean, technically, realistically. They were. They, so technically, they are dinosaurs. They I are. I mean, they are. They're technically dinosaurs. They are technically dinosaurs. That's crazy work, bro. Imagine that. They. Oh, that must suck. I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be immortal. Uh, it depends. If, like, two people could be immortal with me. Oh, like, you just. Oh, that's true. I'll I take that. Like, like. I'm immortal by myself. That's gonna suck. If it's, it's like me and Jay immortal, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Sure said that. Who else would I pick? <laughs> I ain't picking you. Sorry. <laughs> like, like they be. Oh, <laughs> I pick one of the homies. You pick one of the homies. Yeah. Nah, bro. Maybe I, could, I think I think one person might be immortal in the I world. Could, I could always reproduce, start a new family. <laughs> <laughs> you think one person's immortal in the world? You don't think so? Jesus. Like just in hiding. Jesus. <laughs> you think so? Hey, man. You never know. 
Somebody could be living in the mountains and just been living forever. One of the monks. I mean, probably they. You know, they 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 try to train themselves to be immortal. Asian people live a long time. You would know, right? Yeah, bro. All you gotta do is eat fish, walk, mm-hmm. and eat vegetables. That's all you gotta do, bro. You gotta Live do. life at Asian, huh? What else you gotta do? Um, eat balu, balut, not balu, nah, balu. That's like that. That's that street stuff. Like they just got bored. There was no other food, so they started eating fermented eggs. Not even fermented, like almost hatched eggs. Like, nah, that's junk is disgusting. But uh, I got another game we could play. I like games. Interesting. So. You have to fight a T Rex, right? To one, the death. One T Rex to the death. One T Rex to the death. Mm-hmm. And I'm giving you fifteen dollars to build your lineup to okay. go against that T Rex. All right. All right. I'm assuming Tiana Trump's not in this lineup. Nope, not this time, buddy. <laughs> so we have to we choose your weapon for five dollars Wolverine claws, four dollars a crossbow, three dollars a musket, two dollars a spear, and one dollar a blow dart. Like a Yeah, like a like a that's yo. a yo. Yeah, that's great. I'm not gonna lie. Back in my day when I used to play Ark, you know, all I needed was a blow dart. But is that hitting a, a T Rex? Yeah. I do you just, have the the blow need, strength? I just need like seventy of them. Do you have the strength to blow that yeah, thing? Ark, I do not in real life. That's what I'm saying. So you yourself? Yeah, well, I didn't pick it. I was just okay. Me. You just you just uh, he said Wolverine claws. What was number four? Uh, crossbow. I don't know. Crossbow gonna do it to a T Rex. I don't uh, know. I might wound him. And that Wolverine claws, I'm going to have to get closer to T-Rex. Yeah. You said three well musket? Yeah, musket. Like the ones where you got to put the powder in. Like, yeah. What's number two? Uh, Spear. Damn, this is bad. This is bad, bro. It's a T-Rex, bro. You got like, to show your skills. So the only thing that's going to... A crossbow is not like piercing a T-Rex skin. It might. Depends. And that's just the same as me reloading a musket. I mean, we'll we'll let you, I mean we'll let you guys the, these crossbows they can pierce your skin, but it's not like it's gonna go through and I'm kill him. I'm gonna do the crossbow. You gonna do Even crossbow? I think that's bad. I'm gonna do the crossbow. All right. So now you choose your partner mm-hmm. for five dollars. Mufasa from Lion King. He's gonna get eight. Hmm? <laughs> He's gonna get eight. <laughs> I mean, he might help. <laughs> he got body by wildebeest. But like that was multiple. This is one T Rex. He might help okay. you. He got pride. <laughs> Four dollars, James Bond. Okay. Three dollars, prime KG, like Kevin Garnett. Yes. <laughs> two dollars. Anything is possible. Hey, two dollars, Dookie from Johnny Test. You remember? You never watch Johnny Test? The dog. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, I'm good. And one dollar, a normal gym teacher. Man, you said James <laughs> Bond. Yeah. Well, give me KG, bro. Anything is possible, bro. <laughs> give me KG, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me get Kevin Garnett, bro. So now you have uh, eight dollars left. Mm-hmm. So now choose your armor. For five dollars, the Black Panther suit. Four dollars, a shield. Three dollars, hockey pads. Two dollars, a Kevlar vest. Or one dollar, a suit and tie. What the fuck is a Kevlar vest? It's basically like bulletproof, but it's like a bigger one. Damn. I want to, I want to do the suit and tie so we could do it in style. <laughs> give, me the, give me the Black Panther suit. Bro. Black Black Panther suit. Yeah, we both want to get Black Panther suits, right? Yep. Damn, I should have called the rubber ring claws then, too. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> so now you got $3 left. Uh-huh. And I think you got $3. Let me make sure. So you did crossbow, so that's 11 Prime KG, great pick, by the way. That's 8 and then five, $3, yep. So now it's your item. Mm-hmm. So what you could have had for $5, a grenade. Okay. For $4, a bear trap. Okay. For $3, smoke grenades. Mm-hmm. For $2, rat poison. Or for one dollar, unlimited meat. Hey, yo, bro. pause. <laughs> what is your problem, bro? <laughs> unlimited meat. Unlimited meat. Hmm. Unlimited meat. Okay, so what's that gonna do? Feed him. You you think that's gonna help? He's trying to kill you. Yeah, but like, if he's occupied with other food, he's not gonna try to eat me. But like, so you're gonna you act, but he's literally running at you, trying to kill you. Like this thing is like. He's not just existing. He's like out for me. Yes, he's out like for he's you. He's like locked in on like me. Like they put like something, they agitated him. Like in the his, first... his goal is to kill me. Yes, because he's very angry. Yes. And he's not going to stop until you kill me. Yes. All right, give me the smoke grenade. Smoke grenades? Yeah. You can, you can work with that. Yeah. I was about to say, don't just pick the meat, bro. I thought maybe he was just a regular T Rex living his life. And then you're just going to, you just, you just going to give him an offering and just like, 
when he, when he's not looking, just stab him. I was going to tame him, bro. Just tame him. You gotta. <laughs> this man really love Ark, bro. I'm saying I ain't play Ark for real, bro. That's Wait. how you. That's how you get him at Ark. You knock him out, and you feed him meat. <laughs> <laughs> you feed him enough meat till he wake up, and now he's yours. Hey, yo, what? Especially if you got prime meat. Prime meat makes him love you more. Oh my gosh, this is hella ayo. My, my Ark heads, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> nah, that's hella ayo, bro. Wow. Yo, were there, there weren't people around during the dinosaurs, right? I'm guessing I don't not. Think so. I don't think so, right? I feel like we was like after. I feel like there were though. You think so? Like maybe a little bit. Some ne- no, some Neanderthals. Oh my gosh! Like I don't know. Like oh, you know what I heard about Neanderthals, bro? That they were smart. I heard they were smart, but I also heard that they were like our natural predator, bro. Our na- like they ate us. Yes, they ate us. Oh, that's tough. Because it's like. You ever heard of you ever heard of the thing called like uncanny valley whatever? No. It's like a it's like a thing where it's like say you look at something and it, it's it looks human but it's something off about it yeah. and it just creeps you out. Like you ever had that experience like where you're looking at something maybe it's like a robot that looks maybe a little creepy and like that psychologically comes from like like scientists they think that comes from our ancestors mm-hmm. because we've seen something that looks human but it's like Doing act like human. And they, yeah, they act, they don't act like human, but they look human, but mm-hmm. they like, there's something off, but we're always afraid of it because it's trying to kill us and hunt us down. Uh-huh. And people think, like, scientists think that Neanderthals were, like, like, bigger versions of us, but not, like, taller, but, like, muscular versions. Mm-hmm. And, like, because, like, if you look at the bones, like, they had bigger bones, they had um, bigger muscles, like, they had more hair than us, and their teeth were a lot bigger than us. I think it was, like, twice as big as ours, because I always thought Neanderthals and us was the same thing, but, mm-hmm. like, we're... Homo, I thought Homo sapiens was the umbrella, and that Neanderthals was that. But they was so they were saying right, like so back in the days, Neanderthals were like you said smart, and they were able to create weapons, and they were able to like create tribes. But within those tribes, they were hunting like they were hunt, they only eat meat. Mm-hmm. So they were you know hunt like the animals around, but sometimes they will hunt humans like either other Neanderthal tribes or they will come across like the Homo sapiens and like raid the villages and eat all the people. I can see that happen. And like another thing is they say like the reason why people are scared of the dark is because they were the they though uh, Neanderthals when they were um back in the days they had they were able to see in the dark because like you know when you look at animals like in the dark like deers they like their eyes glow yeah. that lets them see in the dark so they had that. So a lot of, but us back then, we didn't have that. So we're always afraid of the dark because they always hunted at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And over time, like during the ice age, like they lived up in like the UK area, like in where Russia and stuff. So that's why a lot of those people up there, like the Scandinavian ones, they're really big because a lot of them come from descendants of Neanderthals. Well, yeah, I was going to say that makes sense too because Neanderthals are closer descendants of white people Mm -hmm. and they just took on their white traits. What do you mean by white traits? White like? people just took on... I mean, white people just took on their, 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 their Neanderthal traits and mm-hmm. just hunted black people. Oh, my gosh. That sounds freaking <laughs> sick. That's not what they did. Um, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm talking about white people. Now I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, and maybe. They did. <laughs> you never know. And it was like during... It was like... I think when the Ice Age came, that's when it was starting to freeze over. So they moved down to Africa. Mm-hmm. And that's when they ran into the Homo sapiens and they started hunting us and killing us off. Yeah. But they think like... And then I guess over the years, like, you know, of evolution, they started dying off because mm-hmm. I guess they started running out of food and they weren't really suited for, like, life because it started getting hot. Mm-hmm. And, like, we had less hair than them, but they had more, so they was probably just dying off. Yeah. And I I heard there was also, like, our wording the people, too. Like, they would eat I them. Mean, they would, clearly. That's like, why I think we have maybe, like, 3% Neanderthal in everybody. Mm-hmm. And so we were able why to... Why wouldn't they do that? <laughs> I'd be, for, be forgetting that like, those are human beings, so they do... Not human beings, but like you know what I mean. They're not like animals because animals just eat and kill. They don't really yeah. do all that weird stuff. But it's also like I mean, they do. Otters, rape. oh yeah, otters. They're an ex- mm-hmm. they're an exception. Dolphins do. Oh yeah, dolphins do do that. Mm-hmm. That's sick, bro. And it's like I remember they said so. Like we were the only ones that was able to survive after the ice age, and like we was able to evolve, and they were able to die. They died off, but a lot of people Ducks think do too. what they do what they rape. Really? They gain weight. They gain weight. Oh, wow. This... Why do you know so much? Bro, I like animals. Uh, he likes the dark side of animals, too. And uh, so, now, a lot of people think that the freaking, like, Neanderthals, when they died, they didn't really die off, but they evolved, too, to live mm. in the forest, and that's why people think that that's what Bigfoot is. Mm. But I don't know about all that. But I just did... I just thought... I really thought Neanderthals, like, out, like, our remember, ancestors were Neanderthals. Remember when ne- Neanderthals was an insult? 
Yeah. They thought Neanderthals were so stupid and so, mm -hmm. like, just treacherous. Yeah. And then, like, scientists discovered that Neanderthals were closely descended to white people. And then all of a sudden, they were like, actually smart. Mm. They were actually creative. They actually did this. Yeah, fucking. They didn't want to be called that no more. Yeah. Now they no, are. Neanderthals was no longer an insult because we're closer than white people, so. You know how it is, bro. You feel me? Hey, bro. But Speaking of you know how it is, have what? you kept up with the black teacher that, that got fired for braiding, getting his hair braided? I peeped that, yeah. You, got, you, you don't know, like, much about I know, it? I know, like, what happened. Like, he was, like, wasn't he, like, recording a video and, like... He was what, on live. What, what grade was the kids? Middle school? I, I'm a, yeah, middle school. Yeah. What do you think about that? I, was there, I, I, I agree. I think he should have got fired. Yeah, I think so, too, because at the end of the day, it's, like... I understand, like, you want to build a relationship with That's your... That's how grooming starts, though. Yes. That is exactly how... If I was one of those parents of those daughters, I would be really mad at the school. Yeah. And I would not want my daughter around that teacher. Because it, mm -hmm. there's boundaries that you have to have as a teacher, mm -hmm. especially. Calling him, calling his students besties. Yeah, no, him that's... Having, him having their numbers, him texting them personally. That's weird. No, 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 no. I don't... I, yeah, like... that's. I didn't know he did all that. That's weird. Yeah, I, I think... I'm not sure how true this is, but they were saying how he... uh hollered at a 15 year old too back in like, i don't know how true that one is yeah 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 but i know he texting his and then he's on live crying talking about hey bestie i miss you so much talking about his students like that's nah weird. that's, that's weird, weird, bro. weird bro that's weird that's what i'm saying that's that's too far now like now, you can be cool with your teachers but now you're now you're making a relationship I've that you're never, not supposed to bro. like i mean i'm a guy too yeah i don't think especially in middle school you, it, it should be no like your students should not be touching you yeah, exactly. So, like on doing your hair. Like, yeah, no, that's crazy. But have you seen the recent video of the principal? Yeah, and his students was the students bedazzled his head. His yeah, head I did see that. Head, yeah, yeah. And they was like, "Oh, if he was white, because he's white, like, so what's the difference?" Is that different though? Do you think there's a difference? I this <sighs> this is what my difference is with it, right? Yeah. First of all, here's the difference too. Black people, yeah, was, was, got that man fired. And yeah, was complaining yeah, yeah. About that man, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. black people did that to him. Yeah, white people wasn't complaining. Mm -hmm. White people are not complaining about this principal. But at the same time, too, the principal didn't record it. Yeah, the principal was not calling him his best. Them, them their besties. He wasn't on he's, live. He's not on live. He's not even looking at them. Exactly. He's just honest. that's different. Yeah. So like, and like, he like he's it's it's a fine it's, line. It's a fine line. I think both is inappropriate in the work setting. Yeah, but. One is being viewed as, oh, they're having fun, and one is being viewed as inappropriate. Yeah. Which I think both is inappropriate, but the teacher's worse. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know, because that's a that's a good example, because mm -hmm. I did see that one picture of it when it was bedazzling the head, because at the end, it could be like a, almost like, it could be like a prank or something like that. Yeah. But it's I mean, like. He was letting them. Yeah, he was letting them do but, it, but it's like, he wasn't. It like the the other guy it wasn't made it weird. It, yeah, it didn't this don't seem too weird? Yeah, like, it you know wasn't what I'm saying. Weird. It really looked like he was just like, I right, my students want to my let my like students when, do like bedazzle my head. Like, yeah, like you, like you, like of course, like some people you probably had like a teacher, like a girl teacher, probably used to hang out, always mess with all the time and mm -hmm. joke around. Like we always had that, but like, like we're not like over there like doing her hair, yeah, and like doing all that other stuff, like doing calling, her nails, texting her, texting her, her every bestie. day. That's different. Yeah. Like, now, if he's doing that, now it's now weird. that was a different problem. Yeah. yeah. That, was a, that was a bigger situation because like, but as far as we know, that principal is just doing his job. Yeah. He doesn't have a personal relationship with his students, and mm -hmm. it's, it's not weird. Yeah, I don't think it's that weird. I don't I think both is inappropriate. Still, yeah, and I think both is unacceptable. I, I think if I don't think the the one with the bedazzling is not that bad because I don't think it's that bad. I think, but in the work setting, you know, because what if it's like last day of school, like senior prank? Yeah, I guess. Like if that's the case, all right, fine. But if it's like in the middle, of like if it's like a random Wednesday in the beginning mm -hmm. of the year, now that's kind of weird. I do think the black dude is ten times worse. Though. Yes, way worse. Like you shouldn't be one. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't let none of your kids touch your touch your hair, or whatever, or be on live. First of all, why are you on live? First of all, if he didn't post the video, he wouldn't have got. He posted the video exactly trying to justify it. That's the reason you're out of trouble. Who got who? Who fired him? Like the principals or like the, the parents? Because like, I to, like think about it. Like if you, if your kid was doing what they did to the principal, like bedazzle his head, would you get mad nope, at them? Not at all. But but if I found out my kid was doing, doing another like, man's hair, hair, yeah, I'm pissed. Nah, yeah, that's mad weird. If my my uh, we bedazzled my principal's head, I'm like, ha, that's, that's mad funny. funny. Like, oh yeah, yeah I just did my. Yeah, I just did my teacher's, my hair, teacher's hair on live. Like what? And like he wanted me to bring like these products. I mean, what do you mean? Why like, you bring what? the product? I'm like, what? What are you talking about? 
That's weird, bro. I don't know, bro. What the fuck was that? That's what I'm saying, bro. The social media stuff is making people go out of character. And it's also freak because he could have been a freaking predator, bro. I'm saying like I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it came out that he was. Oh but really? I, I don't. Oh, I don't. My God. I don't know. I don't. For know how, sure. I don't know how true that is. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty we're not sure gonna, it came we're not out gonna say that. that. Yeah. I don't, I'm pretty sure it, it. I didn't look too much in it. But every time I read the comment section about the principal, yeah, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, he was trying to freak up. He was trying to freak a 15 year old." Every time, I, every time, I don't. I never looked into it to see how true it was. But mm. in the comment section, you will always find that comment. Like, wow. From multiple people. Because I'm saying, if if you see Vitaly, that dude Vitaly, that be on kick, you know that guy, you. You've seen him before. He be he he literally is like who was the guy that did the um, Predator show? What was his name? Chris Hansen. He was the he's the Chris Hansen the kick. Okay. So what he does is like he'll find like predators, but he'll bring celebrities with him. Like he'll have uh-huh. T Grizzly, Aiden, okay. Kai, and like he'll find like these predators. Like he'll like they're doing it together on stream. Sit, sit my ass back up. So he's doing it. <laughs> he's doing it together on stream with him. And there was one time that it was him and uh. Who's the dude that owns that gym? That big, that big strong dude, the white guy that has the podcast with like the Nelk boys and stuff. I have no idea. What is his name, bro? Not Joey Swole. No, not Joey Swole. He's a white dude, bro. That's the only gym dude I know. <sighs> he be with the Nelk boys. Hold on, I gotta look it up now, cause uh, strong, strong white dude. Yeah, no, boy. What's his name? What's his name, bro? What's his name? What's his name? He owns a freaking gym. What's his Bradley Martin? You ever heard of Bradley? You never seen you've seen this guy before. Hold on. The Liver King? No, no. You've seen this guy before. That guy with the green tank top. You never seen that guy before? Nope. Really? You never seen that guy before? Oh shit. I went to YouTube. This is a nice iPad. Yeah. Yo, don't play it, bro. We're gonna get copyrighted. I'm not trying to play it. I'm trying to look at a picture. Did you see how, it? How much was this iPad? Uh, Jay bought it for me for my for our anniversary. Jay, how much was this? Six hundred. I'm about to buy one for myself. <laughs> nope, no idea who that is. Okay, so it was him. It was them two, right? So you know they did this little thing where they set it up. They had him text everybody, text the text the guy, mm-hmm. and they caught him in a restaurant with the girl. And the girl, I think she, I don't know, if she was fifteen. She wasn't fifteen, but like she looked fifteen. So he yeah. caught him in the, in the restaurant. And the guy was, he was like, yo, you know you're with the 15 year old, right? He's like, yo, no, I, like, we're just friends. Like, he's like, nah, but you was texting all this, that, and the third, mm-hmm. right? And then he's looking at the cameras and he's like, oh, nah, he caught me. It's an older guy, like, old dude. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. The producer. Yes, he was bro. He's a movie producer. Yes, bro. And, he, and then they, like, pulled, like, like, they put confetti on him as he was walking away. Yes, right? bro. Yeah, I know exactly. And they, he was walking away, like, yo, like, this guy could really make you go, go, like, go. And it's like, it's like, if you look up his name, that video never pops up. It's like, other things like good things about like somebody mm-hmm. write, like a, a newly written article because people think like his like legal team is creating these fake articles so like they don't look up and see him on yeah. these videos because what he, what movie did he make again i forgot i forgot it was like I know, pixar movies i know exactly who you're talking about yeah and they called him and they was like yo what if he was one of those guys on like the freaking epstein's list bro uh-huh. because like and like he looked at it like dang like they, this is the first time somebody really caught me yeah, for he even walked away like yeah yeah got me bro that's wild and then I seen another one but he walked was, away so like not nervous like, he because he knew bro he got bread yeah I'm good bro like he's one of bro he's one of the ones bro like he's got he got bread like he, he ain't worried about none of that I know exactly I know exactly the video I was like about. oh nah they was like and everybody in the chat was like bro you guys just caught like a really famous person and like mm-hmm. you guys you might get y'all out of here and then there was another time he was they was with Aiden uh, Aiden came with them. And they found, they got a, they caught a predator and they called the cops. But what they didn't realize was like, this wasn't his first time. Yeah. So they found his phone and he was in Florida. So he had a whole bunch of like C, CP on his phone. I uh-huh. can't say it on here, but he had a bunch of it on his phone. A bunch of Chris Paul's on his yeah, phone. Yeah. A bunch of Chris, <laughs> bunch of all that stuff on his phone. And they called the cops and the cops were like, yo, y'all can't be here no more. Uh-huh. Cause now this is like a real like investigation, like crime like this is yeah. real crazy like like they say he could die for this like you get put to death for it because they get florida they don't play around with that stuff yeah so they're like now like he he's on like he might be on like death row low-key uh-huh. and that's freaking crazy bro like he, all this from like a stream bro imagine you probably just think like oh yeah this is first time they're like nah bro this man is a serial don't you know somebody from your high school that got caught on a on this thing yeah i thought it was fake though it was crazy like it was on youtube bro he they caught him at the CVS by the high school, uh-huh. and it was a. I, I, oh my gosh! Like I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not. I'm gonna say his name on here, but Rashad. Yeah, that's his name for. Him? No, oh. but like it's crazy because he was actually one of my friends. Like I know him since we was middle school, uh-huh. 
And like he was always a cool dude, bro. Like cool guy. He was a wrestler. I didn't know he was. And it was like it was literally the year after we we graduated, and the video was going around YouTube, and we I thought it was a joke, like a prank. Yeah. And I remember they called him at the CVS, and they was like, "Yo, you trying to meet a fourteen year old boy?" It was a boy, bro. It was a boy, a fourteen year old boy, and I'm like, "No way!" And I haven't I haven't heard from him for like maybe like after that, I haven't heard from him maybe like two three years, and now I, I see him post stuff on Instagram now, like on like his story though. But I'm like, what he be posting? Like normal flicks and stuff, like normal pictures and stuff, and like people, maybe gym stuff. People don't be roasting him in the comments. No, no, it's like on stories and stuff. Like so they don't post on Instagram. No, but like that's od. Like I don't even think you can find the footage anymore. You can find a preview. But like I don't, I don't know what the name of it was. I could find it. I like I, I got it sent to me a couple of times. Really? Yeah. Who sent it to you? One of your union friends. I don't know. The heck, that's crazy. But hey, man, that was so wild. But I really thought it was a whole prank, bro. Like Damn. they caught him and everything. Got they had the paper on like this, like the files. Damn, that's bad. Bro. That's so bad, bro. Cause they they don't mess with like, bro. Yeah, you could be murderer. You could be a murderer. You could rob a bank. You can do this, that, and the third. That's but once bad. you mess with children or freaking, if you once you mess with people that's under the age, now that's where you're really going down under the jail. That's bad. That's bro. so bad, bro. So bad, bro. I don't. Y'all people. Some of y'all people are sick, bro. I don't know, man. Y'all need to. Y'all need to do better, bro. Y'all need to. Y'all need better parenting. Y'all need fathers. Y'all need freaking. Yeah, y'all need all that stuff, bro. <laughs> Yo, what, what was that song? With my daughters love your fathers. Oh, I know this song you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Love me, the father. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was it. What movie was that then? Uh, man, I don't know. I have no clue. But yeah, was it, in, was it in Daddy's Home? Maybe. Ah, maybe. That, wow, that's very accurate. It yeah, might be. I think it was in Daddy's home. Like on the wedding scene? When they was about to get married? No. Or towards the end? I don't know. I, I think it's like a country song. It is. No. Fuck. Is it John Mayer's? What song? Is, what movie is that in? It's not, it's not Daddy's Home. Daughters love your father's. Was it in Click? Mm. John Dunn is the real monster behind Beth. And his, I don't know. Daughters love. It might have been Daddy's yeah. Home. Father's um, song. Um, Ryan said Dads and Daughters. Don't worry. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll find it, people. But I got a question to ask you, Cor. I got a question for you, Corey. So you're being, you are given, you are given the opportunity. You're being, I can't freaking talk now. It's uh, my fault. You're being given. (laughs) You are being given the opportunity to go back in time and change something in the past. Which one are you choosing? Assassinating Adolf. I can't say the last name. Hitler. Yeah. Or helping Harriet Tubman free more slaves. What are you doing? I'm not Jewish. Wow, that's crazy. That's not it's not just Jewish people. He was killing a lot of Americans. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with the girl that was freeing my people. Nah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna assassinate that man. This one I'm I'm gonna assassinate that man. Nah, I'm going with Harriet Tubman. Think about it, bro. You know how many lives you're gonna save? You know how many lives you wanna save with Harriet Tubman? She saved she saved about nine hundred. You adding it, maybe another okay, eighteen hundred. He say you're saving Almost a million people. Who say if Adolf don't, Danny, that's crazy. You can't even have that name no more. Exactly. But let's say. That's if, how bad he is, bro. But let's say, like, it would be another one of him, though. Who said it's not going to be another one of him? I mean, like, think about it. He was in the army before. All I got to do is just find him and just say he got murdered in battle. Now it's done. We'll worry about that later. Freaking with the slaves. You could, the most you can save is like 2K, 2000. Yeah, it's 2,000 more people. But 2,000 more people? Or I'm 11 not saying million, I won't... 11 million. That's the, that's, that's the amount of people that you'll be potentially yes. saving. 11 million. 11 million people. Yeah. They was white, though. I mean, some of them might have been black. No, nah, they weren't black. Are you sure? I don't know. It was, in, of, it was in Germany, bro. The Tuskegee, the Tuskegee Airmen? Do your homework on Yo, Tuskegee Airmen. Einstein almost got packed up, bro. Why? He was a Jew during... 
And oh. he was a German Jew. See, come or on, Polish bro. Jew. See, and come he, on. he escaped and helped them win the war. That's crazy. Exactly. Different. Wow, they should make a movie on Einstein. <laughs> it's called Oppenheimer. That was about Einstein. No, well, Einstein's in the movie. No, I'm talking about about Einstein, like that whole story uh, you just said. I mean, just so you're gonna you're gonna free the free the slaves. Watch Oppenheimer. It's in there. Is it really? Yeah. Mm. That movie's just too long. Yeah, it's three hours. It's good though. Well, we'll see. But I'm so, going with the slaves. Nah, that's okay. It builds characters. Just remember that, people. You know what I'm saying, like, we got we at the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. Black people. Mm-hmm. I'm only free. I'm only free in a couple of us. So now we still got both. We got stories to tell about our history. Yeah, but I mean, we are saving. I'm not saying I wouldn't. If there was another option, I probably would. But you're saving mil- almost millions of lives. But like from one from doing one guy that but, is normal in war, just murking him in one. I mean, I want to kill him too, but like you know, bro, you might not even help her. You might get captured yourself. So you didn't say that. What you mean? I didn't say that. you got to help her do it. Yeah, but she, she didn't get captured. I know, but like you, you not her. You still helping her. her. What do you mean you her? Nah, you not her, bro. Right hand. Nah, you not her, bro. I don't think you nice like. Now you trying to make. Now you trying to make me kill Adolf. I want to kill Adolf, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to tell you. I don't think you're gonna help her. You might actually make be a liability to her. Mm. Me, I I could just be a normal soldier. I see Adolf. You're getting murked. Like I'm gonna be a sniper in the cut. Like you remember in the at the end of the Deadpool movie where he's going back in the timeline, just Mm -hmm. murking himself. It's gonna be me. Did he? Did he go back and kill? Who? I think he went back and killed Baby Hiller in the timeline, didn't he? I think he did. Yeah, he did. I think he did. <laughs> but not, no, I can't shoot the baby, though. Oh, no, I'll do it. Nah, that's crazy. That's not fair. I'll do it. Baby Hitler? Yeah, no. Or Baby Hitler? He's not. He don't. He don't. He don't. He don't I mean, I might. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take him. You and I'm going to raise him myself. I'll kill him before I raise Hitler. What? Myself. He's not even doing nothing. That's nah. not even it. That's oh, not even him. I know. Cause I know what you're capable of. Like, it's What in, you mean? He's not in, even. It's in your head. It's, no, it's not. He was. It was put into his head. Nah, I don't want to watch him. I don't want to look at his stupid face. Just make, like, before he grows the mustache, just like, she... Uh, if he grows that mustache, I'm I'm going to kill him. Yeah, he going to be swagged out, bro. I'm telling nah. you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. You can't even wear that mustache no more. You can't sit wearing a mustache. You can't even name your son after. You can't even, you, that name is, like, forbidden. I know. Like, it's so bad. Like, you, like, if, if, <laughs> imagine you go to school, you meet a guy named Adolf. I knew, uh, somebody brought their cat. Named Adolf? No, Sir Hitler. That's all right though. That's cut. I mean, Sir Hitler's all right. I mean, that's kind of fun. I mean, what kind, what type of person are we talking about? She, I think she was black, or she was no, she was uh, Spanish. Yeah, she was Spanish. That's some crazy stuff. You know that. Our boss, our the, our boss is Jewish. Oh she, my gosh! The, the, the lady that owns the owns the what you call it is Jewish. Oh, so this is recently. Yeah, yeah. I we, thought you meant in school. Changed, no, no, like recently at my job. Somebody, somebody that somebody works. Brought a cat in. Sir yeah. Hitler, and we changed the name on file. So, so what you put it as? I forgot. Probably like I don't even know something like Boo Boo or something. <laughs> so it, like Sir Hitler, she didn't see Sir Hitler was in the file. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Hey man, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that twice on the pod because I said that a minute ago about that stuff. But I'm not gonna talk about it. Cause I, I was saying like there was things about like Jewish people like they really own everything. Yeah, I'm not making no inside Semitic comments. On yeah, that. no. I'm cool. Let's go to the next one before we get out of here. Uh, which superpower would you rather have? Teleportation, but you have to be naked. Mm. Or being able to fly, but you are constantly peeing yourself as you're flying. So I got to fly naked. What? You have, you did not, that's not what I said. I know, but I'm saying like, because if I get to my destination, I'm going to be smelling like piss. Yeah. So... I will, either way, I gotta fly naked to be clean. So you're gonna fly naked? No, no, no. I'm gonna choose teleportation because either way, I gotta be naked. I mean, not really. You can. I can wear a diaper. But Ooh, then you gotta wash co- though. Like you pee on yourself with a diaper, then you take the diaper off. Now you're gonna get skin infections because you didn't take a shower. I can just get me a. I can just change my diaper. No, but like you're sitting in. So the, you're going. You're, you're sitting in that diaper. You didn't bathe. Where are you going to teleport to if you're naked? Listen, I'm going to have cold, cold stations set up around the places where I need to teleport. So you're just going to... So you're going to tell... But or, like, how is that... How is clothes going to get there? Or I'll teleport like in the mall or something. That's even worse. Like in the changing station. Now I just... But get, now you're butt naked. Yo, get me some clothes, bro. But what if somebody's in there? 
Hit guy teleport out, bro, somewhere else. <laughs> Keep teleporting. Nah, bro, empty. I'm flying, cuz. Nah, I'm doing teleportation. I'm fl- flying's light. But you're gonna be peeing yourself. Bro, I told you, just wear a freaking diaper. No, because you're gonna be just you're gonna you're gonna get and just change the diaper. You're gonna, get, you're gonna change the diaper, but you're gonna be sitting in that diaper though. And you're peeing yourself the whole time. So that diaper's gonna fill up and you're gonna be sitting in your piss. Then you're gonna get to your destination, <laughs> take that diaper off, and you're gonna still smell like piss. Bro, that's why I carry some moist towelettes. No, bro. Get some spray. No. Get them little, yeah, that little ball unless spray. Unless you're flying to a shower, no. <laughs> it's it's doable, bro. I'm not teleporting naked. I'm gonna teleport naked, bro. Bro, why? Before I before I get to my destination, I'm saying I'm gonna. I, I'm obviously. Oh, hold on. Yes, what? I just cooked, bro. What, I know what, what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? I'm going to teleport where uh-huh. I need to be. Yep. Put clothes down. Like, like, so let's say, I, let's say, like, let's say, what's t- my takes your clothes? Listen, let's say tomorrow I gotta be at, at work. At work. Okay, yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. That's easy. Teleport at night, put some clothes in my, like, my, my, in the bathroom, in the locker, wherever I gotta put clothes at. Mm-hmm. Teleport to work. And with the clothes, where to teleport where the clothes is at, get changed. Okay, where are you gonna put the clothes at? Is I'm, I'm at, I'm at my job. I gotta figure that out. Bro, but now you're doing all that work when you could just be like me and just wear a diaper and just clean yourself. No, bro. Cause this now can't be that bad. You're going to get to your destination and that's, that's, that's just a hassle, bro. That's that's a hassle, but you going back and forth to put clothes down? Yes. To go, that's not no, a hassle? it's not a hassle. Or like, or think about it in this case, right? Let's say I got a, I got a late night booty call. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got to get, I don't got to get changed, bro. Wow. That's the but like think about it. There's only limited amount of situations you can use your power. I can use my power all the time. No, you cannot, bro. Yes, I can. You flying to Paris. By the time you get the by the time you get to Paris, you're constantly peeing yourself, right? Okay, you know what I can do now? What? I can just fly with no pants on. I just that was my first suggestion. But look, but you but I'm gonna do it in like where high enough where nobody can see me. But that was my first suggestion. You was like, what that mean? But you said naked. That what is the difference? You flying with no pants on, you're flying naked. <laughs> because it's like your thing is out, right? Yeah, but like you're naked. But like now, I'm holding clothes. I'm gonna have a book bag with me. Okay, cool. You didn't say that. I but obviously, if I'm flying naked, I got clothes with me. Nah, that's not. I'm not obvious. landing naked. So now, would that change your answer? No. Why not? Because I could, bro. Teleporting is just so much faster. I could, I could teleport in the middle of the night and just put clothes stations where I need to teleport. This, hey. These are my clothes stations. Don't touch this, bro. People, let me know in the comments, bro. Yeah. Or even more, or I could just teleport and get, get I could put that shit on, bro. We need to put that. I could teleport, steal, and then. Oh, just put it on? Yeah. I'm still I'm still going to be flying. Flying's cooler. I'm still going to fly. People, let me know in the or comments. I could teleport it in my hand. All right, now I get to get changed. I, I, who I, I can teleport with a book bag on? I mean, you could. All right. Teleport into a bathroom stall. I hope somebody could be in there. Teleport to the next one if somebody's in there. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm I'm still picking flying. I'm, I'm personally still picking bro. flying, bro. But all right, you got anything else you want to talk about? I got one last thing you want you want to talk about it. Yo, have you seen the new the, the new throat ep- epidemic? Who the throat epidemic? Oh, the throat epidemic. Yeah, the 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 the, tat, the neck the tat. Oh yeah, yeah. The throat tats. Yeah, that's bad work. I want to I want to like I want to want throat tats anyways. I mean, you don't got no tattoos. I mean, yeah, but like, I wouldn't want. Would you want a throat tattoo? Just gonna match a regular tattoo. Um, maybe, maybe if we're both, if we're up. Mm, see, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get you're the, not, I'll get the. You don't believe? That's your problem. Oh, you're right. I'll get one right now. You would? Mm-hmm. Would you get the the R with the cross out? Nah. Well, yeah, that's our, that's our, that's our, that's our, our most tattable sig- uh, s- yeah. Simple, right? Yeah, I'm a. I, I got trademark that. I'm probably gonna do it when I come back. I'll but, get. I'll get that. I'll get that right here. Look, you know, see, I'll get a sleep. I'll get not a sleep, but like, like right here, and then like have it like right here, like and, and like that's part of like the the no, sleep. I'll and get it right here, butt naked. Like just just dolo. Dolo. Let its own cross R. I respect that, bro. Don't worry, bro. What's, but you don't want to get it with me, so I'll get it with you. Nice. Jay, you got me. I got now. Nah, I got some tough tattoos. You like, gonna get no regular tattoos with us? We gonna match? See, like this. I got tough tattoos ideas, bro. Like I'll get like you're not, you're not a tattoo person. She, she's gonna get tattoos. So why you not gonna get the no regular tattoo? So this is what I'm gonna do, right? 
Like mm-hmm. if I want if I want tat like I'll, this is what I tat I tat like this like this part of my arm, and I'll get like I'll get right here. Like you ever seen the tats? Like no, nah, I get, gotta get it all in the same place. What do you mean? No. All right, so you're not locked in. No, but they don't gotta be in the same place. Like same this was this is what's gonna be. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Jay's eyes right here, like tatted right here. Oh, that's so tough. Cause I always said like. If I, I I can't give you my right hand, I'm giving you my left hand right now. I'm, d- I'm trying to dap you though. Oh. If I got if I got a if I got a shorty, I'm getting her eyes tatted, bro. Like I'm I'm getting the eyes tatted right here, like on the thing, and then it's gonna like over here. I don't know it's gonna be here, but then there's gonna be, be no regular thing. My tattoo would be the half the half uh tiger, yeah, half woman shit. What do you mean half tiger face, half, half woman? T- yeah, but the the other eye would be her eye. Yeah, and then I'll get the uh you know the you know the symbol I'm talking about that eye symbol, bro. It what means the- like. The all seeing eye? No, not the all seeing <laughs> all seeing throat. Hey yo. Nah, they they've been tweaking with the throat tats, bro. The blessed throat, the the great throat. But but Jay, how the you go, like that tattoo? Goat throat. Like I get your eyes right here. Cause Jay got Jay got nice eyes. So I'll just get it like right here. Be like, yeah, we all watching you. Like this. Every time I flex. That's tough though. You should get a tat right here, bro. You should get something that said bro like Brooklyn. Oh. Uh-uh. Like like a like the Gerald Green tat. Like when he did the thing, he's like this. He has like his uh, city name on it. I think it's like Cincinnati on it. I'm gonna look at what you're talking about. What Gerald Green's tattoo? Yeah, I was. I'm, I want a Brooklyn tattoo. Brooklyn slash Jersey tattoo. Yeah. Ooh, you know what you should do? Get the Brooklyn tat, like a Brooklyn name, like mm-hmm. like name Brooklyn with the with like the train or whatever. And then on the other side, it should be it could be New Jersey. And you get the New Jersey Nets logo. This tattoo. I'm a Knicks fan, bro. I'll never get that tatted on me. What the heck is that? That looks like the the Egyptian eye. Yeah, but it means something. It does. But I would get it like this, and I, and I'll get her eye. Her eye. Yeah. If I ever. I don't like that. I don't look right. Show show the people. Oh no, nah, because that one don't look right. I don't like. I don't know why. This, I just, this is the symbol I'm talking about. I don't know if I like that. Let me know in the comments, people. I don't know if that. Maybe it's just me. It means something. I forgot what it means. Make sure you know what it means because you know a lot of these people get these Chinese tattoos and it says like egg fried rice. Or somebody got uh, what's that? The, they got the a flag that was crazy. <laughs> what type of it flag? Was like a Chinese, like uh, I don't remember it, so I can't talk about it. <laughs> Yo, what like, does it mean? Nice guys, nice guys finish last name. Man, you like you like trash. Oh wow, while Corey's looking for his picture, we going back to the slow jams. I'm talking the real slow jams. Mm. I promise you. This for you. This for you. Uh, them slow jam radio. If y'all need another host, call me up at two zero one. Corey, what is the rest of your number? Uh, six six four nine seven two nine. Is that really your number? Yep. Tell whoever whoever could call me. Call Corey right now, and he will do whatever it takes to get to you. We are talking about the slow jam. We talking about the, we talking about the right, boys to men. Nothing, bro. Look at this guy. This guy I thought, just thought it was cool. This guy thought it was cool. He thought it had sentimental value. Really? It means nothing. It means nothing. So are you going to get, are you going to get a throat tat? <laughs> no. Like, like what do, you, what do you think is a zesty area to get a tattoo? Your throat, your inner thighs. Like Ooh, right nah, that's max. Who got tattoos in the inner thighs? I seen Don Waldo. Yeah, nah, but like, he has the guy like from a woman though. I hope so. Like, imagine like that's no mad ma- close. Ain't no man. Oh, it does representing protection, health, and restora- restoration. According to the Egyptian myth, the Horus lost his eye in a sh- struggle. Yeah, I can't read. In a no. struggle <laughs> with Seth, the eye was magically restored by Hothor, 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 Hathor, Hathor. and the restoration restoration came to symbolize the process of making whole, whole. and healing. Hmm. That's what it means. So yeah. I'm so good. where are you gonna get that at? Get that on your knee. What you mean? I don't. I don't have a girlfriend yet. Oh, when you do? Yeah. That's tough though. Nah, I was saying like maybe me and Jay might get like matching tats, like a like a ring right here, like on the like mm-hmm. how like how Steph Curry has it, or like or uh, just get, just the letter, get, or just get a get a, get a fucking wedding ring. I mean, this proposal ready, bro. I have a bet. I know. <laughs> what, what'd you say? <laughs> 25, bro. 25? Yeah, bro. So she got to be 25, too. Yeah. Oh, you're good, bro. Bro, bro. You're like, good, bro. I gotta, you talking about getting a tattoo, bro. I'm talking no, about- No, I know. When I'm we talk, get married. I'm talking about winning, winning a bet, bro. How much is it? Don't worry about my, my wages, I, bro. I got you, bro. Yeah. 
I'm trying to, if I lose this bet, you owe me. <laughs> All right, I, I shake on it. All right, bro. Look at me. <laughs> Look at the face. But uh, so inner thighs. What else? Lower oh, back. Oh, lower back. I was just about to say that's like a tramp stand. That's mm-hmm. mad mook. Lower back is crazy. Um, where else? Nipples. Oh yeah, I remember. This was kind of weird. I remember I had a swimming instructor at NJCU. He had nipple rings. Yeah, yeah that's kind of weird. Belly. Oh, a belly. A belly button tat. What do you mean, but like right here? Like low key, what Batista had. His was cool though. But oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Kinda I mean, uh, you think? Be- I think belly tats are stupid. I want a belly tat. Like of what? Bunch of animals walking across my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> like this man is so like what? <laughs> like what, bro? This man is gonna have a freaking it's Zootopia. Because somebody is is somebody that I see with it, but like you're gonna say I'm glazing because I, I, I it's who is it? Derek so, Rose, bro. Oh. I mean <laughs> That's not why I want it Because it's Derrick Rose Because it looks I, cool It looks cool But it just so happened That Derrick Rose has it Yo No nah, I, I just think it just looks so Dumb And like if you get big Then it just looks warped like, that, oh, that was, That's what my tattoo artist Told me When I wanted that At 19 Or 18 He was like Yo you're gonna get fat one day It's gonna look great <laughs> Look at me now <laughs> You're not big You're not fat though You just got a gut I got a big back I got, I'm big back bro Bro you just need to get Locked back into the gym bro Bro you I'm can back lo- bro when was the last time you worked out? Mm. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about, bro. This man, Corey, used to be committed. He used to be on a fast. He used to be working out. But this not third. Now he's just eating rice in his nails. <laughs> <laughs> but, I beat Tyrone in the playoffs last Thursday, and Millennial stopped playing with me, How bro. many points you had? I had, like, 10. All right, how many points he had? Mm. How many? Oh, dang. So, like, he's out the playoffs? Yeah, knocked him. I knocked him out the playoffs, bro. Good stuff, bro. You feel me? You was guarding him? Uh, yeah, I was guarding. He tried to cook me one play, bro. He said I fouled him. I ain't fouled him, bro. I ain't fouled him. He said I fouled him. He tried to hit me with two spin moves, post post baseline spins, bro. But he spun one way and spun the back. Then, yeah, then I cut him off. He spun the other way. Like, wow. like loser, bro. Let's let take him know the, you take the L, bro. You let him know you lock up, bro. And then I then I he went for the shot and I like I didn't block it. Yeah, but I, I contested it and he missed and he was like, you fouled me, bro. You fouled me. <laughs> hey man, Ty Ty's really mid, bro. He's just tall. But you got anything else you want to talk about, brother? Um, damn, nope, I don't. You know, I got nothing. Nope. Thank you again, brother. Thank you for pulling up. You, you said always... you had something else to talk about. One more thing. What? So you had one more thing to talk about. You want me to talk about it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got a story for to actually talk to you about, bro. Mm, let me, me let me actually look at my thing just to make sure I don't mess the name up. So, have you ever heard of Circleville, Ohio? Mm-mm. So in Circleville, Circleville. Ohio... My bad. <laughs> In Circleville, Ohio, it was pro- it's so this is probably one of the biggest like unsolved mysteries in the US. Mm-hmm. So in the seventies in Circleville, Ohio, there was it's a very small town, like twelve thousand people. Like it's a town where like everybody knows everybody. Like they leave their doors unlocked, you can walk in, get get a cup of sugar, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Those type of people. But during the seventies there was a there was a time period where everybody were getting was getting these weird letters. Yeah. And it was like Letters of somebody either like watching them or like saying personal things about them that nobody else knew, mm-hmm. and it was scaring a lot of people. But there was one specific story where somebody actually died. Mm-hmm. So what happened was there was a lady named Mary, right? She was a bus driver, and she was getting letters in the mail saying like, "Oh, I know what you've done, Mary. You've been sleeping with your boss. This, that, and the third. You've been having an affair with your boss. Tell your husband now, or it's gonna look bad for you." She didn't listen. She just she never told her husband, but the letters kept coming in. And then eventually the letters were getting sent to her husband saying like, yeah, your wife has been sleeping with her, with her boss. Like you should go confront her about it and then kill them both. He's like, if you don't do this, you are like, it's going to be bad for you. And he said, he's going to publish on CBS. He's going to put posters all around. Like everybody's going to look at you as like, you're a, a weak man, letting your wife sleep with other men. This is going on for like months. Right. So then, so then a random night, I guess he was drinking. He gets a phone call. And then, random he, after the phone call, he puts the phone down. He gets the gun, gets his gun. And he leaves the house. He never comes back. He dies in a car accident. And people think that he was just drunk driving and he crashed the road, but he really wasn't drinking like that. But a lot of like the family thinks that he, like, encounter like found the guy and was chasing him, but the guy ran him off the road. But it's weird because they told the police that, but the police was like, nah. He just was drunk driving. There's no foul play involved. Like, they closed the case. He didn't even... Inve- the, the, the police chief never investigated it. And 
like the family wanted to see the car just to see like like what like if they can find like clues but as soon as it happened the police chief had the car sent to a junkyard and like demolished mm-hmm. so they didn't even get a chance to look at it so they already thought that was fishy enough so then years went by right her husband passed away and she's still doing her job on the bus so she's driving the bus and she sees a sign on the side of the road she's still getting letters by the way and they're disrespecting her saying you're the reason why your your husband's dead your daughter is sleeping with your boss also like you're like you're a terrible person so she sees on the side of the road a sign that says something about her daughter sleeping with this man so she's like she stops the bus and she's going over to take the 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 poster off and she looks behind the poster or like on the floor and there's a box and it has a loaded handgun with the with the um a shoestring tied with it and the shoestring was connected to the poster so she would have pulled that poster down the sh- the gun would have shot her right in the face mm. so it was like a booby trap and when that happened that's when they was like all right now we have to go to police because somebody's out to get me and we don't know who it is so they were trying to figure out for years who this person is that's been sending them letters and they still don't know who it is they look they traced the gun back to i guess a f- like a family friend but they said like he said that the gun was stolen yeah, and he doesn't know who stole the gun. So to this day, they don't know who's been writing these letters. And I think I think it stopped, but like for I think it's probably going on like five years. They were just getting random letters, and people just stalking them. Like they was give them letters like, "Yeah, I've seen you watch. I, I'm watching you in your house like at seven in the morning doing your hair. I see your daughter in her room just waking up at seven in the morning to go to school. I see you driving your red pickup truck. This, that, and the third every day. We we'll just get a random letter. And every and this was happening to like everybody in town, but they just had like the weirdest one. Like imagine that happened to you, bro. Like, cause me, me and Jay watched them. Um, you ever watched The Strangers? So it was like, a, oh well, yeah, I forgot. You don't like scary movies. So it was like a scary yeah. movie where like a couple is like living in a home and like they're being like tortured by like these three people. Like they're trying, like three people are trying to kill them, but they're they're literally just like, like they can kill them at any moment, but they're playing around with them because they know they're scared. Mm-hmm. So that's equivalent. Like imagine somebody always watching you every day of your life and just sending you all these crazy things, telling you all these bad things. And then one day you try to crash out and then he freaking kills you, bro. But, hey, man, people, be safe out there in these worlds because you don't know who's watching, bro. We might be dirt. watching. I, I was just about to say, it could be me. It could be Corey. If you see Corey, he might be watching you. It might not be a coincidence that we are I'm out and about. You. you watching me? Mm-hmm. I watched you before one time. What you watch me do? Some nasty work. Well done. Hey, man. We different than regular, no regulars. Gangster. <laughs> nah. Episode number 49. Before we end the podcast, I got to shout out everybody on the Patreon. You know, all of our Patreon subscribers, subscribe now to our Patreon. If you subscribe for free, that's cool, but you only get 10 minutes of extra content. Mm. Only 10 minutes. You don't even get the episodes for, you don't even get the episodes early. On Patreon, if you subscribe for $3 tiers, the $5 tier, $10 tier, you get every episode a day earlier and you get an exclusive two exclusive podcasts twice a month mm-hmm. as well as a bonus content once a month if you're subscribed for ten dollars and many more other things that's going to come in the future so you might as well subscribe people it doesn't hurt it don't hurt bro five dollars y'all be paying for netflix mm. with these booty ass movies for nine dollars a month they'll be paying for porn bro and only fans exactly y'all crazy twenty dollars to these people come on bro. better than only fans exactly bro who knows Corey's thing might be up there pause you never know. I mean, if he wants me to, I'll do it. Nah, don't do. I don't. I don't. Um, it's okay. Said, we can. We can. We can make. Uh, no regulars X. No, I don't want that. Plug talk. No regulars. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. But I just want to shout out all of our subscribers. So for our free subscribers, we got Jalen Strong, mm. Leek, mm. DJ Willis, Ooh. Ramon Padilla, Ramon. Alyssa Smith. Alyssa. Tyrone Bones. Tyrone Bones. Corey Petty. Corey Petty. King Fry. King Fry. Tamia. Tamia. And Laquell Ingram. Laquell Ingram. What a name. We say that every time. Yo, I I, mean, I want to know who you are, brother. You got a very unique name. Where are you from? That's another question. Now we got, we're going to the people that pay the big bucks. Mm-hmm. The people that got the jobs. The people that got the bread. Mm. The people that don't care what they spend because they know they're going to make it back in ooh, two ooh, seconds. Ooh, ooh. For my second round steals, we <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> for that my corny pe- ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> second round steals, we got DJ Khalid, DJ Khalid, Leland Pool, and Leland Muhammad. Pool. So shout out to y'all for t- subscribing to our Patreon. New Patreon episode is dropping this weekend. If you want to see Corey Tyrone and UJ on their own podcast where they talk about weird things, tune into that. 
Huh? I don't think it's weird. I mean, I think it's unique. It's un it's uncensored, unhinged, unhinged things. That's a nice word. Well, you use. you guys need to come up with a name so I can put it on the podcast. So I can put it on the Patreon. No regulars. No, not penis. no regulars. Think of something else, bro. <laughs> if y'all want more stuff, we got yo. This summer we're doing a lot more content, bro. The Adventures with Idiots is coming out soon. There's a lot coming out, so tune into that, bro. Any last words, Corey? Gangster. We different than regular regulars, man. Gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.